Yo, the gamers, welcome to my Ash the Diamond series. Going to be playing Ash Senna, facing Caitlyn and Zerath, which should be kind of a tough ball in the face, but I'm sure we'll find a way to prevail. Oh, Zerath is starting off with blue buff. That's annoying for us, but uh, very good for our team as a whole. That means Warwick, I guess, is starting without a blue. So this is going to be my first Ash game since the Ash buff, where they increased her... Um, her... Damage onto slow targets from her passive, from 10% to, I believe, 15%. Which sounds pretty nice. Sun is way overextended there. I'm going to pop the Ghost here, because we can really punish. Okay, we're gonna disengage now, because now I'm gonna be trading into this massive wave, which I would rather avoid. Ah, man, I took a lot of damage at the end there. Oh, well. We have sustain, at least, so we have something to deal with all this. Kellen also has lungs with three pots, though. I think Senna should have kept going for that. Okay. Need to back off. Unless... Nice one. Wait, I'm still trolling. I don't need to be getting hit by all these zero cues. I think I just need the base. That is what it is. Uh, this wave is actually not too bad if they don't crash this. Nice. Okay. Uh, Senna sustain is just not going to be enough at these early levels to deal with all this Zerath poke. We're not going to get back to a how high enough amount of HP that we can actually start fighting back. Okay. So we might as well just base. If it was something like a Nami, our sustain would be better, but Senna's sustain is pretty weak until later on. Anyway, this is going to be low silver MMR we're currently playing in. Yeah, so they did crash a wave, obviously, but... Not able to crash it in time to make me miss significant XP, at least. In fact, I'm actually up in farm compared to Caitlyn. That's pretty nice. So in this lane, we're definitely going to be rushing Vamp Scepter as soon as possible. To deal with both of their pokes, mainly the Xerath. I'm going to drag this out because I want to freeze this. There we go. I don't have these, so I can't check where they are in lane. Hmm. Might need to back up Silas here. I'm just gonna be prepared to loss at this cannon, because I don't want to give that up. Okay. Yeah, sadly this freeze won't really hold, because it's too close to the turret. I couldn't tank it. But... Yeah, it wasn't the cleanest crash they could get, not the cleanest base. We'll deny a little bit of farm this way. In fact, we probably just want to start crashing now as well. Shouldn't be too hard since we got such a massive wave, which will help us with the wave clear. Okay, nice. Now I can just base for a long sword and refillable since it'll be a while before we can recall for vamps up there, I think. So I think there's currently two Ash builds you can use. It's this basically split between the anti-tank build and just the uh, build when you're not dealing with tanks, basically. Uh, this game, their team is not particularly tanky, so we're going to be going for the non-anti-tank build. That's just going to be Shield Bow, into Phantom Dancer, into Infinity Edge. It's going to do a lot of damage to Squishies. And if we were facing a tank, then what we would want to do, or just, you know, enough tanks that the... Uh, tank stats, whatever. Any sort of tankiness that you want extra damage to deal with that, then what you want is Kraken Slayer, and Bork into Phantom Dancer. That bolt is going to be a little bit more adept at facing tanks. Thankfully, either, w either way, um, both builds rush lifesteal, so... Or build out of lifesteal, so in a lane like this, we have an option to build Vamp Scepter. Regardless of which build we're going. Sana? Oh, she's fucking dead. <laughs> Lovely. Seems to have vision. 
Nothing to do there. Holy fuck, that reached me. Okay, here we go. We can just go on Zerth here. Mm. I need to back off then. I'm 1v2 here. Kind of awkward ganks for now. Yeah, it's a bit annoying a matchup right now. The only way to deal with poke is basically engage, which we do not have. Uh, you can also sustain it, but yeah, sun is sustained not too strong at the moment. So you just kind of have to suffer through it right now. The best, the only thing we can do is just try and avoid giving up deaths. Okay, she's slowed and I got level six. Okay, we don't want to keep chasing in there because I don't know where Zareth is and I know he's going to be in range to hit me since he's always in range. He's a billion range. So that was just a small punish on the Caitlyn. For her mispositioning. We want to try and hit both of them with our W if possible. Going for it again. Oh, he hit her. Perfect, okay. Oh, dude, I only just noticed Warwick, what the hell? Nice one. We can crash this, that would be perfect. Uh, I don't think we can risk it. I definitely can't risk it. Like, I don't know when Kaelin is hitting 6. It probably should be soonish, though. I don't know. This was actually going to be fine since the melees went under turret. Hopefully more go under turret, otherwise this is fucked now. But yeah, I don't know when Killen is hitting 6, but it's bound to be soon, so I don't want to overstay there. Um, when am I getting boots? 10.30. No, I'll hold off an item slot for that. I guess I'll just pick up a pink in the meantime. Holy crap, what is this kill in inventory? You do not buy five potions, that is a huge waste of gold. And at least now we got vamps up there, so we're gonna have a slightly easier time dealing with the zero poke. But the problem with this lane is that there's not much avenue for us to fight back due to, due to the lack of engage. All we can do is try and dodge enough skill shots that we don't die. There's really gonna be chances to actually heal them, although... If there's ever a time, it should be... Now that I'm level 6. But it's hard because if I try to like engage onto Caitlyn for example, then I can get hit by the Xerath burst. If I engage onto Xerath, then I'm getting DPS by Caitlyn. And we don't have too much follow up in the Senna. So... Yeah, we're just eating up the poke and just trying to survive. And we'll just wait and see if they make any mistakes that we can punish later on. <coughs> So if we want to hold somebody, ideally it should be when they're not being blocked by minions. So that once they're stunned, hopefully Senna can also follow that up with their W. That would be huge towards the chances of getting a kill. If they're behind minions, then it's very unlikely it'll lead to anything. Okay, this could be very good. Nice one. They should both be dead this time. Yeah, so this is the same effect as what I described, except it's actually Senna leading with the W, which is all good. Xerath had no cooldowns, so he couldn't disengage with the Z. They were both as a whole just very extended there. There was no reason for Xerath to get so close that he could get hit by a W. And we focus Caitlyn because she's the main damage dealer, of course. We'll leave this wave because it's the kind of wave it would take forever to shove since both of us don't have amazing wave clear. 
Shame since I'm pretty close to Shield Ball, but I don't think one wave would give me it anyway. It's fine, we can just pick up the Berserkers. And so you see, it's very important that in the early levels, I, I probably even overstayed, right? But the important thing is that eventually I did just give in and base and not just try and survive on like 5 HP because eventually I would have died. And if you're giving up unnecessary deaths, it just makes it all the more unlikely that you go on to win these fights later on once the enemies actually start making abusable mistakes. It's not that they weren't making mistakes before, it's just that we didn't have a bot lane that could really abuse those mistakes at that point in time. But now that we actually have the engage through the Ash ult, it becomes easier. Oh, I see Zero there, I thought he might be in lane. Okay, we should be able to chase Caitlyn down here. We wait to see if she flashes, if she does. Okay, I don't even need to ult, I was gonna say. Oh, okay, I guess I do. Saves me a lot of HP from the turret. But we always have the ult for the kill and flash there. Because we know we can chase her. If she doesn't flash, we're just going to chase her down to the turret and she dies without even needing to ult. If we use ult, then it gives her a chance to flash it and then also escape because she's also flashed and then we have nothing to close the gap with. Um, I'm going to get this cannon at the very least. See if I can help here. Not really. Can I maybe just clean up though? They probably have vision here. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely sees me. Nah, I can't get it. So all I can do is just stick around. Damn, it's a shame I didn't get the plating. I should have just probably stuck, uh, stay in, in the lane. There was no chance I was... Very little chance, at least, that I was going to be able to do anything there with. He as low as he was. I might be fine here. I need to dodge the Xerathi is the main thing. I also need to get out of Caitlyn's range if I can avoid it. Oh my lord. Okay, nice. Oh. That's Caitlyn dead. Ah, she crit me. Are you serious? She crit. What? That was so unexpected. I thought I was fine there. Oh, man. How much HP did I have? One, two. Dude, there was no chance I died if not for that critting. Holy crap. Dude, it was, it was literally only like... Two damage overkill. I nearly survived the crit as well. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, this fight would have, as a whole, just gone a lot smoother if I had started cutting away from Caitlyn uh, sooner, I think. I just kind of sat there tanking damage for like two seconds longer, or one second at least longer than I needed to. Something like that. But because I had my wave and I have such a lead, I should have... Like, it was winnable. It was a world where I won that if I just played it properly. Especially with the minions blocking the Xerathi, which was really crucial for him to land. For him to decisively win that one. Oh. Too late for that. Oh my god, they gave two seconds uptime on the Ash Key, didn't they? I forgot about that. I should be fine, actually, just getting hit. Ah, fuck. Couldn't dodge enough to the wall. I should have just let myself get hit by the Zoe Q. I shouldn't have tried to dodge, because even if it hits me, I don't die there unless I get in range of these two. Right? So I should have just happily tanked up the damage and just sucked it up, you know? That was a crucial mistake to make there. Um, should have just tanked it. Because technically, even if I do dodge the Q, if I get in range of a Xerathi, I might still die anyway. The only thing to do there is just accept getting hit by the Zoe Q. Because getting zoned by it is not good either in that situation. Does he have this? Okay, nice. Okay, Azeroth, no E. I don't care too much about getting poked by a Z. I actually want him to use the cooldown, so hopefully I can punish him later on. It's 
It's gonna be back up now though. Oh my god, that range is crazy. I think we have an ocean that actually helps a lot with dealing with the Zerath too. Even though my poke is the lowest than Zerath, so I can actually kind of match him just because my sustain is so much better than his. He's actually lower HP than I am right now, despite how many abilities I've been hit by. Okay, we hit one of them here at least. And the Zerath is down, that's the window to just go in here. Okay, I can't do much more there. Can't dive too deep under the turret with another one of them being super low. Oh. My bad. Okay. If it doesn't have flash, then we're good. That's a Zoe as well. Zerath has no mana. Ah, damn it. Come on. No. Did I get hit by Zoe? I didn't even notice. Yeah, I did. My bad. Did he actually not have mana or did he just auto attack me for the mana and insta cast it? Because I knew that he could cast his E on me after he autoed me for mana, but it was so fast. No, he must have had mana for E, actually. Yeah, look, you can see his he can see he started his e, e animation before he even got the mana back. That's unfortunate, because I only needed one more auto to kill him. Um Go for Phantom Dancer, sticking power is very good on Ash. <clears throat> I have heard no better words than the strong must try the impossible. This is the oath I must fulfill. I'm gonna take the scuttle crab. Shit, this is a big collapse. Look, I have to spend so much time juking instead of fighting. Okay, nice. It even goes to me. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is a hard game for any of you to replicate. Uh, you have to have a lot of mechanical skill to play these fights this well. Not to suck my own dick or anything, but... Most games are not this mechanically hard to play out, is all I'm saying. Shield bow, so I'm good. I could flash forward to kill her there since I got the shield bow to tank up the turret, but I don't think that's a good use of flash. Can we see Warwick? He's not coming for me. I'm sure as I can just stick around here. Life stealing up. Holy crap, the extra uptime on the Q is so nice. Actually, feels like a good ability now. I was hoping to get a little bit more damage there, actually. I think I wasn't expecting the mini block. So she's a little bit lower now. You can even dive her, actually. Oh, okay. Goes for flash, I think is a good trade. Don't have shield bow, so I gotta be careful about trying to dive uh, here while tanking up the turret completely. Okay, Kane will probably be coming for me now. So we'll back off. Kill him, might be dead here. Fuck it. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Not much to do there. 
Yeah, it's, it's like I said, like it, it was not a good use of flash, even though this time it wasn't under turret. It's the same concept. It's not worth it to flash forwards to kill the enemy ADC. When potentially you're gonna die because you have no flash. I would rather use my flash. Like there was, this wasn't an e even like an impactful death. Like it, it would have been worth it if I pulled off a one v two, right? But that was pretty unlikely that I, that would actually kill Kane because he was just so tanky. So there was plenty of time for one of his allies to show up, even if I somehow managed to outplay him. I <clears throat> Flip it? Okay, she should be dead now. Oh, okay. Nice one. This game is very tanky. Want to path to one of my allies, but nobody's really moving. Like, the Yi has been aware of this, or should have been aware of this for ages. So, like, I can't survive there, because Silas was moving up here, and he was just ignoring this. So I sh never should have died there. That's why, that's why I was, like, happy to, like, try and take that fight. But it's only after the fight started that I see, oh, nobody cares. Nobody's going to fucking save me. <laughs> oh, well. Because I can waste a lot of Kane's time while he's chasing me. Would have been a lot easier as well if he didn't have red. That red slow actually screwed me as well. I might have actually been able to 1v1 if not for red buff. Oh, this is a top lane Kane. I only just noticed that. I forgot the Warwick was the jungler. Okay, we're gonna have to go for wolves since that is gonna farm this. I'll also try and farm mid as well. I'd rather than try and take a test that farm from him, I'm just going to settle for wolves and go top. Thing about going top is that it's not a good time to go top. I would much rather be bot side for Drake, but I'm gonna get no farm if I don't. We're just trying to adapt to our teammates' bad macro. Since he has TP, right? There's no reason why he couldn't be top, but. There's no point in me trying to communicate that to him when I know he's not a high level player, so he's not gonna understand why I'm telling him to go top. Okay, we shoved in two waves here, that's good. I wanna go back to Drake now, using the E to make sure I'm not face checking into a champ. Now, unfortunately, because I wasn't around on mid lane, for example, to participate in the fight, we lose Seth, we lose Senna, apparently, although that was bot lane. So, even though I actually got bot side in time for the Drake, because I wasn't bot side to set up the Drake, uh, we just lose Seth and now we're gonna have to give it up. Unless they just don't even do it. They're not in position right now. Mm, that's not good. Okay. I think I'll just... Check the jungle. I can't really push mid because I'm such a slow turret pusher. If I was Jinx, I would push this. But Ash doesn't push turrets as hard, so I don't think I'm going to get that. I definitely don't think I can risk it at least. So I'm going to go top where we're further away on the map compared to mid. And here should be at least a lot safer to get to push and then we can see if we can get the turret. Meta is just a lot easier for them to react, and it helps that this turret is already really low as well. And if we get this, that's 650 gold. That's really nice. I don't know why they're not doing Drake. They really should be on that. If we happen to get that at some point, that's soul. Maybe somebody's won't be wanting it. Nope, nobody's on it. Weird. Just keep on pushing then. Okay, Zoe's on the way. I can won't be one her again easily. I shouldn't have wasted Q actually. Okay, she fucked up. Come on. Okay, we got her. 
I don't think she even died to my ult there. I don't know what she died to. Oh, the cannon. Huh, nice one. This guy can ult me because of Bramble Vest, by the way. If he gets in range to ult. Okay, there we go. Holy shit. Kind of just letting my auto attacks do their thing there. Playing an autopilot. Okay, so I don't know why they didn't do Drake, because now we just somehow just ended up getting this. That's crazy. I was trying to make the best of a bad situation while the enemies were trying to make the least of a good situation. That's what happened here. If it doesn't have flash, then it should be fine. Yep. Once I close it, once he's closed that gap with ult, and I flash away, he needs to close the gap again. With some kind of gap closer, you know, a flash, or a dash, or a blink, or something. Otherwise, he's never going to reach me again, and he's going to get slowed to death as well. So if he didn't have flash, then he's fucked. That's why that was not smart for him to go for, unless he knew that I didn't have flash. Any left? No. Okay, we base then. Holy crap, I have a lot of gold. We'll go for Lord Dominix now, given the sub, but the, uh, cane build. You can sell this for Durin's Blade as well. Sorry, yeah, it's all Durin's Blade for Quick Look. Alright, no bud. them, but I don't think it's worth it. Because I can ult them now and just get a kill. Screw my team's kitty I only care about mine. Just need to rush this down. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Ash the Diamond. Gonna be playing Ash... Ash Leona into Kaisa Shaco. Also, they can't really do anything to fight back here, so and I can just try and bait them. All right, this uh, they seem to know at least now that it's more than just me, but at least I did some damage. Okay, their only vision is here, so we could actually just cheese here, but they should be standing standing out of vision. They're just giving the enemies information for no reason at the moment. Poppy placing a ward top. So this game, I checked the Poppy's match history, it seems like she likes playing Poppy full tank. So we'll probably just draw off the anti-tank build this time. Alright, nice one. Vi we know Vi isn't getting a leash wherever she's starting. And she might even be heavily delayed in starting the red buff, so she's gonna be really behind. Also, nice one, Tom Kench. So, uh, I, I think I got interrupted when I was explaining this in the previous game. But since in that game we needed the, vamp, the sustain from Vamp Scepter to make that lane at all survivable. Um, you can actually just do Bork instead of, uh, Kraken Slayer first item. If you're using the anti-tank build. This game we won't bother, we'll just do Kraken Slayer Rush because it's more damage. And we don't need to sustain against a ball in like this. But in the previous game, if we were doing the anti-tank build, I would have gone Orc Rush, just so we could have an excuse to rush that Vamp Scepter. God, that Ash buff is so nice. Oop, missed the cannon, my bad. I wasn't looking.
I want to try and poke away at Kaisa wherever we can if she's overextending for farm. Not necessarily overextending, you know, but making herself at least vulnerable to poke. Alright, we'll start letting, um, the wave be more or less frozen in the middle, so Leona actually has a chance to get an engage off. The moment she's basically not playing the lane and it's not her fault. She can't engage if we, if I keep pushing the waves under turret. She should be engaging on Kaisa there, though. Kaisa was definitely in range there. I mean, now Kaisa's not in range and she goes for the engage. <laughs> One thing I gotta watch out for is the fact that even though I'm stronger than Kaisa at the moment, or I was, until she sustained a bunch, um, is that I'm actually very vulnerable to Shaco at the moment. He's level 3, he is. I think he's engaging on me. We're gonna watch out for it, because I'm really low. I've done so much damage to Kaisa, but... Uh, like, I'm a lot more likely to get solo killed by Shaco than Kaisa is to get solo killed by Leona. I'll pop a ghost here, because now Shaco doesn't have a gap closer for me. Mm. Okay. Mm. I thought my auto was going to kill him there. Oh, well. Hopefully my auto was at least needed. I'm not even sure if I actually hit him with that auto or not. Oh, that just fucked me out of, of a cannon for no reason. Um, We're not really going to crash this in time. I'd rather just leave it frozen like that. We'll just thin it out slightly. And we'll just leave it like this. Poppy already 0 and 2. So the thing is, the more behind Poppy is, the less we actually would need an anti-tank bolt for her. So we may just end up going shield bolt if she just falls super far behind. Thankfully, we use the same rune setup no matter what, which build we're using, so... We're very flexible. Especially if we rush uh, shield bolt over... Uh, pickaxe or... Vamps up there just always gives us the choice to switch to whichever mythic we want. Uh, I can't really follow up here. I'm not giving up a cannon just to go for a gank that might not get his kills. Okay, do they get a kill back? No, they do not. That sucks. I mean, Lilia went for that knowing that I wasn't there, so just because she lost the 2v2 does not mean she gets to blame me now. Especially because I wasn't in range initially. At least they're both low now, maybe we can do something with this. Ow. It's kind of hard given the fact that Leona doesn't do anything under turret. Yeah. I'd like to cancel her base. There we go. Yeah, we'll just crash. Give us the flexibility to just base if they end up deciding to base anyway, despite how much farm they would miss. Okay, she's dead. Nice one. Like, honestly, Leona, sh Leona should just be engaging and be giving up her life for the dive, but it works out since Kaisa just ends up dying for no reason anyway. We're getting ganked. That would be by Mazaharu, isn't that? Who's scary? He can't really one shot, and he doesn't have a dash to get onto me. But he might still be that. He might still be uh, flanking through the jungle. But since I don't know that for a fact, I'm just gonna go for the plating. Would have been better as a solo plating, but oh well. Back off now. I just want to recall, regardless of whether Malzahar is coming here or not, we want to spend our gold. Okay, so for now, I'll just get Dagger headed towards Berserkers. We'll give it a little bit more time, just keep on uh, keeping track of Poppy CS for score. And if it turns out that she just continues to be 
incredibly behind, we won't bother with the anti-tank build and we'll just go straight into Vamp Scepter. Or the shield bow. Okay, we would like the freeze here. A freeze is really good for laning with Leona. Keeping the wave on our side of the map just ensures that the enemies have to overextend far enough that Leona can actually create a kill whenever she engages and doesn't just have to immediately abandon the engage because the enemies are basically under turret the moment they retreat this in the slightest. I've also got ult now, so we got a lot of kill potential. My ultimate can also set up the E for Leona. I'll pop ghost here. Just to get into a better position faster. Ah, she's not in the turret. Ah, and I got hit by the Kai'Sa with passive. My bad. Alright, that blows. We should, we should have warded that. Should have used D as well. My bad. Yeah, my bad. I didn't notice Kai'Sa was just continuing to hammer onto me as I went, went under turret. When do I get boots? One minute, yeah, so probably not much point in buying anything. Could've got a pink, actually. Yep, Poppy Solo killed again, still has terrible farm. Use D, but he'll probably get away. Hmm. I can try and get him. Mm. With boots, I might have actually been able to chase him down, but I'm not fast enough. Move quickly. Position well, and the battle is won. We'll just slow push for now. Basically, similar effect to freezing in terms of kill potential, except that if you, the, uh, the 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 only difference is that with the freeze is indefinite, and the slow push eventually. Uh, actually crashes and stops being such a favorable kill potential. Okay, that shouldn't be a kind of for Kaisa. If she creates for it, then we should be trying to kill her here. We're gonna kite the Shaco. Is this the fucking clone? That's the fucking clone. I'm gonna flash him. Ah, gotta leave this. Okay, this could be good. This should be a kill. There we go. That was well played from the Shaco using that clone. Oh, good, Leona. She did re like the thing is she. It should have been a lot better even than it was that fight. Cause she, I think she was AFK at the start or something. I engaged on Kaisa and she just didn't react. But uh, oh, good. Let me see if I can see what happened there. Nice, nah, too late. Today. Yeah, Poppy's dramatic will be behind. We'll just go with the shield bow build. Either way, late game with Lord Dominix, we won't struggle to kill this Poppy. We can always just go Bork as well, even with the shield bow later, much later on. We do happen to struggle with her. The shield blow is nice here, given the fact that they have at least three different champions who kind of want to, kind of want to burst us down. I guess, I guess technically more like two. I, do, I guess Shaco doesn't really want to accept in the lane. We'll ignore the rest of this farm. See if we can just chase them down here. Ah oh, man, the only one I could actually chase down was uh, Shaco, but he just disappeared. Come on, Leona. Ult, ult, ult. There's no reason not to just combine it with my CC. I might. No, never mind. Can't get Shaco. Need to keep running away from Shaco until I see him. There we go. Ah, uh, wait, no. He's maxing his E, I think. That might be too easy. I'm not sure. 
Yeah, it must it can't just be one E. Lots Shaco supporters meant to back Stubby though. I thought it would survive that last hit. I probably could have done a better job spacing him though. Probably I shouldn't even really be in range of his E. I just got greedy thinking that I would survive it. Yeah, no, when he turns back to walk into me to try and use E on me, that's when I just need to turn around as well. Because although I technically outrange his E, the, when I stop to auto attack him, it just keeps me in place long enough for him to get in range to use his E. So we can't just stop to auto attack him there. Unless he's not turning around to face us. We'll keep on freezing. I'll place a ward back here. It'll give us any insight as to whether Shaco is placing a box in there or not. Okay, Drake is up in two minutes. Could probably do with getting that. Let's keep on freezing. We're denying a lot of farm from Kaisa this way. But eventually she's gonna greed. This is a really bad lane for Kaisa. It's because she could support doesn't offer her much. Probably could have ulted her there actually, my bad. Try and clear this? Ah, so close. There will be peace in the frail ward. Is she gonna greet for the cannon? Nope. Just gives it up. In general, by the way, it's a lot better. It's a lot uh, more consistent to land the ultimate if you wait until they're either slowed by your autos or by your W. Like right now, this makes it a lot easier to land ult. This Leona just doesn't ult to follow it up with my ult. Like, what the fuck, man? Just ult when she gets stunned. Okay, nice one. Oh, sorry, Leona. Um, holy fuck. Okay, I got him. I didn't expect him to flash into me. Oh, well. Yeah, I wanted to get into position to protect Leona because he was obviously going to dive on her. Of course, I couldn't get there in time, so I had to just flash on him to punish. Uh, what do we want to go for now? This. Wait, I'm actually in disbelief that Leona just died with ult up again, by the way. <laughs> At any point, she could just be ulting Ash or uh, ulting Kaisa while she slowed by my autos, and it would just create such an easier kill for me without me having to tank so much damage. Last night, she could have ulted Shaco here as well. Like, it's. Not landing with as much support pressure as we should have. Okay, guys, I'm going girl for for some reason. She can use that to dodge her ultimate now. It's gonna make her scale really badly, though. Well, I mean, it, technically the scaling is a lot better than uh, Kraken Slayer, but that's for late game. Like right now, she's gonna have so much less impact on fights with girl Force as opposed to Kraken Slayer. Um, I'll leave this wave. My bad, I was too distracted. Mm, it's too late. Can't really push because then they would punish, but. Gonna mute the fizz. Guide me. Maybe we can get some vision. I don't think they're coming for me, so I can just start pushing. Okay, Shaco stopped, so we definitely know we're not getting ganked by him. If I find Kaisa here, I might just be able to kill her. Even under turret. Depends how far she steps up. Oh, 
We step up. Oh, she could have just guild force, couldn't she? Actually, she might have already used it. Yeah, I guess she doesn't have it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, now you use ult. Really, man. <laughs> this is frustrating. We're doing well anyway, but it's just... We could be doing so much better. Should be 6 and 3 now. Or, sorry, 6, 3 and 3 now. Not 5, 3 and 4. At a minimum. It was so easy for me to just not kill still with ult there. Holy shit, Poppy has actually picked up three kills, by the way. Still, I don't think she'll get tanky enough before we hit for items to really be a problem. Mm, nah, I don't beat him, do I? Actually... Wait. Wait, oh, I don't have ult. Shit, I thought I did. Okay, well, thank god I still beat him. I don't know why I thought I had ult. Oh man. I'll pop ghost because uh, in the long run I'm gonna want the chase here. Oh, I hit the wrong one. All good. We can chase down Shaco too. Hopefully. Okay, I cleared it. He should hopefully die. Yep, perfect. Oh my god, I nearly died. That was close. Okay, Mazahar does not have Ludens. I don't have to worry about dying to that AoE. Just need to avoid the Q and the E. He's still the only person alive. There's no point in me basing at the moment. So we just get some extra farm. Pick us up in a minute, I want to base ASAP. Otherwise I'd go for the Scuttle Crab, but I do not have time to farm that. I mean, I might. It, it's possible that I could do it and I wouldn't get punished for it, but... We don't want to take that risk. We want to base ASAP, get back to lane, hopefully in time to shove in another wave. Oh, I don't know what she was doing in the river. Doesn't take that long to place a ward, does it? Either that or she picked a very bad timing. So at the moment she seems fine. Yeah, places a ward. Oh, hang on. Yeah, she just spent far too much time in the river there. Don't know what she was doing. Maybe clearing a ward. We gotta stay away from Mazahar at the moment. Okay, 1v1 is fine. Yeah, you can see I'd be doing a lot more damage to Poppy if I went a different build. I should be fine here. Which is the real one. Hopefully... Oh, not that one. Got him. Do I live? Come on, come on. Okay, I think I just barely survived it anyway, but... <laughs> There was a world where that uh, auto attack in the Gromp would have saved me. Okay, thank god. Yeah, so I guess Shaco does kind of... Like, I feel like Shaco's don't usually play this way. Shaco supports at least. On AP Shaco, but... This guy's definitely planning to try and burst me down, so the shield is putting in a lot of work. Look at Poppy's farm. She may have picked up three kills out of nowhere, but she's still extremely weak. No matter how big her shutdowns may have been. 
Unless it was like 3,000 gold shutdowns, but that seems very unlikely. You can see I'm a 3 Adams and she's not even a 2. Oh, I want to help my team here. Damn it, I don't have Ian, I don't have Blue Trinket. <laughs> Whatever. Let this it instantly. Okay, it should be that here. Uh, or I am. Fuck, my bad. I thought we finished the Drake already, I don't know why I thought that. Yikes. Okay, so am I just dumb or did the Drake reset or something? It was, it was pretty low, but it wasn't dead yet. Yeah, I don't know. I had a brain fart. <laughs> I thought my team were gonna follow me up there, but uh, Drake wasn't actually dead yet. It does seem like it took them a long time to kill a 2000 HP Drake, though. I don't know if that's just because of low early game damage or if I actually did reset. But I don't think it matters. So if this hits her. Let's go, Leona. Oh my god, she can't even hit the ultimate on somebody who's stunned. <laughs> we'll have her eventually. I shouldn't need the ghost. Don't touch her. Thank you. <sighs> nice try. I'll just keep pushing top over here. Definitely needs to be Lord Dominic next. I mean, we could obviously get away with other choices here, like Runans would be nice. But uh, we do want to actually be able to deal with this Poppy in a relatively fast manner. I think Bloodthirster would also be solid here. Since a lot of this game basically just comes down to surviving them. For now I know nobody's actually following up the Poppy, by the way, so I can be confident that I can just 1v1 her here. Yeah, she's just incredibly behind. Not a chance. The shield thing disappeared right as she was about to get it. That's funny. Okay, no red buff. Oh, we were on Baron. Oh bad, I probably muted the pings of everybody who was pinging that. <laughs> All good, we got it either way. Oh. Nice one. Yeah, I was getting ready to ult Kai's so if she ulted onto this. But it's not needed. Good. So if she crushes up somewhere. Oh, he's. Oh. It's literally just popping Shaco. Should be able to chase her down here. <laughs> See, this is what the this is the main thing uh, about playing Ash is that. A lot of people find that she does no damage, and they just don't understand how to play her. The problem is that she actually does deal a lot of damage. But when you say somebody does a lot of damage, it depends on context, right? Like, Ash does a lot of damage because people can't get away from her. But a lot of people, when they play Ash, they just let the opponents get away with mistakes like that. Poppy was full HP here with, like, fucking 3000 HP and, like, 200 armor. But she's easily killable. So a lot of Ash players in low elo, they would do, like, maybe 5 autos on Poppy, then back off. But she overextended. She deserved to die there. You need to punish that. Because very few... Like... Ash was probably the only ADC in the game that could kill Poppy there, right? 
regardless of what like you may feel about like how much damage she does per auto and what her attack speed is etc like you still do more than enough damage to kill somebody if they overextend there the problem is that a lot of ash players can't identify when somebody is overextended and punishable with ash because once you auto attack somebody once they can never escape your range again or even just if they are in w range if that w allows you to get into auto attack range using approach velocity then they can never escape you again unless they flash away and so if there's nobody protecting them then you can always just chase them to the death and you need to do it to be effective on ash that's how you succeed on her it's just knowing when the enemies have fucked up and when you can kill them like i fucked up here and the enemies probably know that just need to straight up run ah damn it so close actually i almost got him oh well If I'd ulted slightly sooner, I would have been uh, fine overall. Just needed to interrupt the Vi Q before I went through. Oh well. Anyway, final item choices. Bloodthirster is fine. Runans would be good. So we can slow multiple people at a time, do more DPS. Uh, Ash really likes movement speed, as we mentioned. So you can chase people down more effectively, get into auto attack range more effectively to begin that infinite chain of slows. She also appreciates attack speed. So that her auto attacks don't lock her down for as long. Again, making her kiting and chasing a lot more effective. Otherwise, we could go GA. Like, I think, basically, we have four item choices here. This game is Runans, if you just want more chasing power. And, you know, some AoE. And Bloodthirster, if you just want tankiness, would be really good for the Vi and the Shaco, since that's basically all they do, is just try and dive me. Um, GA is like an alternative to Bloodthirster that is more effective at survivability, but does a lot less damage. And the survivability is only for one fight. Should be fine here. And then, because we're facing a Malzahar, we can also do Mercurial Scimitar. But I don't think that should be necessary. So she has the Q away there. Because otherwise he dies. Alright, nice one. GG. You what up gamers, we are back for another game of Ash the Diamond. Honestly, I would be so happy if my Morgana would just start without a leash. Oh well. Gonna be playing Ash Nautilus into Caitlyn Sana. So, it's a pretty good matchup for us, I would say. We got the... Engage response from the Nautilus into a bot lane that just wants to keep their distance. Nautilus will make that hard for them to do. Wow, he's really over leashing there. He's gonna miss XP for sure. I'll try and avoid hitting the minions. Mm, no, I can't. He just has to miss XP. So he's just going to be hitting level 2 late, which is a bit annoying because we would like to have that ASAP in case we need to engage or in case we get a good chance to engage to start snowballing. Especially given the enemy bot lane. That being said, I mean, they're not that good at the moment. They're not pressuring me as hard as they should be. Probably won't start doing that either. Okay, so I'm level 2 now. Don't know when he's gonna hit it. I'm pretty much always just killing Q now at level 2, by the way. I used to pretty much always kill E at level 2 as Ash. Because Q wasn't worth the mana. But now that it only costs 30 mana as opposed to 40. And on top of that, there's just a much better ability to cast as well. Aside, even aside from the mana cost. I actually... I'm happy to level it second now. 
Just want to try and punish some of there, so we're getting some damage off while they harass Nautilus there. Yeah, the kid did a lot of damage there. Ooh, close one. We want to focus Caitlyn. Perfect. She should have kept on focusing me. I'm basically covering Nautilus there by focusing Caitlyn because it kind of forces Caitlyn to have to trade against me. So that she can at least trade evenly instead of just taking a ton of damage without dealing any back to me. Instead, she switched focus back to Nautilus. Which is a mistake, because even though he's lower, they're not going to kill him. They're not getting 300 gold from him. At least not yet, right? Oop. We'll pop Ghost here. Hopefully we can get killing now, too. I should have disengaged there, actually. Oop, my bad. That's fine. Still get her. Yeah, I should have uh, disengaged from the headshot, by the way. I didn't need to take that damage. And if we avoid the headshot damage, then there's zero chance she could ever win that fight. So the smarter thing to do would have been to just cut away from the headshot and wait for her to waste out of Nautilus and then back off. And then uh, re-engage, re rather. Okay, nice. We managed to crash it, hopefully. Yeah, it still works out. So you see, the, you, so you see how close that fight was. It doesn't matter all the damage that she did to Nautilus before, because at the end of the day, when they engage a fight, they either kill me or they lose, right? And it's the same for us with. Uh, I mean, both. It's less the case for them because Senna's a damage dealer as well, especially with this rune. So for us, it doesn't matter who we focus. Either way, it's going to be useful. Ideally, we'd like to focus killing because she does do more DPS, but we can burst Senna down so fast that it doesn't cost us much to focus. Senna. Whereas if they focus Nautilus, uh, they just have to tank up so much of my damage while they wait for him to die because he's so tanky that they just lose the fight by default if they do that. That applies to fights and it also applies to trades because trades, you can think of them as like pre dealing damage in a fight, right? That's what trades are. So if you could, if you can harass like the support without taking any damage from the ADC, that's good. You don't know if, if that damage will actually matter, but you may as well do it, just in case. But if you can, if you have the choice of hitting either the support or the ADC, and you choose to hit the support, then that is just troll as fuck. Even if the support is low, like, so long as you're, if you're not actually going to kill him, then it's, it is just such a huge waste. You're making a future fight just so much harder for yourself than it has to be. Because, I mean, the thing is, because uh, Senna got hooked there, right? She was always going to die there, no matter what. And we were always going to win that fight. But, if I had been lower, I would not have been able to kill Caitlyn afterwards. The, it was basically the difference between getting one kill and getting a double kill. Oh, my bad. Just barely got her. Nice one. We can just be going in for now, since my Q is still going. Yeah, that's just another easy kill. Nice one. Just should have disengaged, because I was nowhere near low enough to die this time. Yeah, like I said, they really... This bot lane on the enemy side really does not like playing against the support like Nautilus. As soon as he lands that Q, he just closes the gap between me and the enemy bot lane. And we just go ham. Alright, I'm gonna recall now. And yeah, we're just doing the shield bow build again. Trundle might get a little bit tanky, but nowhere near enough to warrant us doing the anti-tank build. Kane will also apparently not go too tanky. I actually only just noticed it was a Kane top, but seems like he's going to be going Shadow Assassin. Otherwise, it's really weird that he has first strike. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I shouldn't have taken that trade. There's no need. It's kind of hard for us to trade back at the moment since they have such a big wave. I'm gonna hide in the brush here though. I'm gonna hide the fact that I'm level 6. We can just engage now. They didn't see me leveling up there. I'll pop go so we can try and get killed too. No 
Actually, I should have stuck around for one more auto and then flashed out, I think. If I was going to take another turret shot. Because I think if I activate Q there, which I had at the very end. To risk some auto attack and get one more auto attack off. I think she dies there. For sure. I just pussy it out. Still, I mean, given my shutdown. No, we're fine. Given my shutdown, I suppose you could say it wasn't worth the risk. But I know I could have pulled that off. Either I kill her or she has to flash away. But just so long as I react in time with my flash, there was no chance I'd die. Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck? What? He didn't have a support item or a support stack. I was wondering if he was about to pick up a stack because he seemed to be pinging the thing. Yeah, we could actually choose her. Okay, all good. I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not in the lane. Eventually, his soak will be back up, or they're gonna overextend. Oh, my bad. Nice one. We'll just switch focus to Senna because I can't overextend trying to hit kill in there. Ah, sadly, we lose this fight. Hopefully, that W disengages. I've nearly got ult, but I don't have mana for it. Not yet, at least. That level up actually helps a lot. Yeah, kill and flashing away there was a big problem for us. Um, I'm good for now. I keep trying to bait them in. I'll just disengage. Oh, that's a fucking- Oh, god damn it. No, I didn't notice Trundle, my bad. I was disengaging from the headshot there, though. Making sure we don't repeat the same mistake as last time, because that could have actually killed me. Oh, well. Could have just, uh, path towards here and flashed over this wall, if I've noticed Trundle. My- honestly, my- my flash was not good. It, I was gonna die no matter what there, pretty much, unless Trundle somehow massively fucked up. Uh, we'll pick up double dagger here. Alright, big shot down to Trundle then. Which at this point in time is probably the worst person to give the shot down to, but it's still not too big a deal. Because the thing is, at the moment, he's the only person on the enemy team with any chance of carrying this. If we give it to either one of their bot laners, it just doesn't make a big enough difference to make up for how behind they are. Should be able to get Victor here if he doesn't have flush. Oh, he's gonna be fucked either way now. Nice one. Oh my god, this ultimate is sticking out to me so hard. Alright. I'm gonna push this in before I help with the Drake. So the Syndra takes my ball in farm and then expects me to do the Drake over taking more farm. <laughs> I don't think so, buddy. We can Kalash here easily. Or a uh, Caitlyn, brother. Well, then uh, if I'd been lower HP, would have actually screwed me. Fortunately, even though I get in, I'm stuck in turret range for a little bit longer than expected. Still tanky enough that it doesn't matter. Okay, there's Trundle. I've got Ghost and we got Nautilus to peel. We should be fine. Oh, he wa- oh, wow, he really wasted that pillar, what the hell? That's a shame it goes to Morgana. Oh my god, her damage- no! Oh, ah, I think it was- was it either I was failing to click there? Or I got blocked by Nautilus, which is not really his fault, it's just super unlucky, but I wonder which was the case. Because I was trying to click to the left. Yeah, what is up with that pillar? He needs to be trying to close the gap up to me. Also, I need to check what I- oh, hmm. So, she felt tankier then, or burstier than I expected there for some reason. Mm, I think I just clicked too late. I think that's what happened there. Together we are strong. Together we are Avarosa. As expected. And I don't think I had a shutdown this time. Okay, I had a small one, but not too big a deal. I wonder if she crit me, maybe that's why she felt so bursty. 
Because between her passive and her crit cloak, she actually does have a decent amount of crit chance, I assume. Yeah, 35%. I'm gonna start rotating towards mid in case we can help. Hmm. Too late. I dream of a nation for my people. We can actually just dive. I think Sana is basing, right? I think I saw Sana basing. Oh, she's on Grump. Okay. We just want to deny her as much from as possible here. Oh, no, no, no. Planes are falling. Get it, get it, get it. Did we get it? Mm, oh, fuck, we didn't. Damn, that sucks. I, we just missed out on uh, 85 gold each there. Oh, well. I wanted to deny her farm, though, because uh, I didn't notice the timer. I wanted to let the turret just kill as much of her farm as possible. There's no point in basing it. All I can get is a long side. I may as well just rotate directly towards mid. They're just letting this crash instead of actually pushing it as hard as possible, which just gives me a lot more time to rotate here. Uh, I probably should have hit in the brush for a bit. We'll want to use ult when Syndra's actually in range to use QE, because she... Oh, she should be able to land that pretty easily, and that's going to be a kill. Ooh, if he just queued and walked away, he would have been fine. Holy crap, I took a lot of turret damage. I just... Hope to get a kill, and we're going to be getting the turret, and she's complaining that I... <laughs> Like, she literally did the same thing to me on vault lane when she didn't even need to, because she wanted to rotate towards Drake in mid anyway. But she came, she deliberately came bot to take the farm and then walked away. Now she, now because I'm mid, because I need to actually, you know, I need to rotate here, I need to pressure here, I need to take the turret here. She's complaining that I'm not just, like, not, like, I'm actually taking farm. Like, of course I'm taking farm. <laughs> Like, what? You did the exact same in my position, except it was dumber in your position. <laughs> my lord, how much of a hypocrite can you be? Like, I'm used to Loilo players, obviously, uh, complaining that you come mid to take their farmers to ADC, because you know, it's what, what you gotta do. If they don't rotate bot, then you just have to push out bot and go mid and farm mid as well. There's nothing else to it. And you just deal with the fact that they complain about it. But I just can't, I can't believe the level of hypocrisy that she did the exact same thing to me on bot lane and complains when I do the same to her on mid lane. Unreal. Ooh, by the way, uh, another thing we could do actually is, uh... Just chill bow into double zeal upgrade. We could do rune and seer as well. Something I haven't done in a while. Probably because I haven't played Ash in a while. But it's a pretty nice build. Gives you a lot of staking power. Sacrifices damage obviously compared to doing infinity edge. I probably won't do it because I'd like to be able to burst down their squishies. Oh. Bro. <laughs> Come on. Okay, I'm plenty healthy here. Well. Enough to push at least. Why do we have vision over there? Okay, my team is the Drake. Who could be coming for me? Kane could actually come for me. Okay, we'll back off. Kane plus Victor TP plus the potential Kane out of nowhere. Shadow Assassin, something we gotta watch out for. Okay, he's top. Wanna try and avoid the victory. I did a great job of that, as you can see. He's not got no more E. And he's got no ult. 
So we just press them down as he doesn't come back up in time. Must have been very tight though, because the victory doesn't have too much of a cooldown. But I was hoping I would be able to press them down before I came up there. But they'll probably die. I like how Senna just got pushed back during her ultimate. It's a funny sight. Ooh, nice one. <laughs> it's a caster, man. Chill. I'm gonna meet her. It's fine. I can afford to tank all that Victor damage while I take the turret. And now hopefully we get Victor. Despite no follow-up from Syndra. I think I need the flasher, though. Like, I didn't need to flash behind Syndra to avoid the Caitlyn ult. Or, because, yeah, because I would just, uh, get behind somebody anyway. But I, I think I kind of needed to flash out of the Victor ult there. I don't think I was going to be able to escape that. Could have tried to use Ghost as well, but then if it turns out that it's still not going to get me out in time, then I would have to use both summoners to escape. I'd rather just be direct than use the flash, which we know is going to be enough. Um, I could do with some honey fruits. Thankfully, it's ocean map. So I don't want to base until I got infinity edge. Do you want to go bot? She want. Is she gonna go bot now? Can't tell if she is or not. She might just be going for the honey fruit. I think she's going. Nice. I can just take this as well as go back mid. Nice one. An enemy has been slain. Come bot Ash for what? Oh, they just rendered anyway. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. GG. Victory. You what up gamers, we are back for another game of Ash the Diamond. Swain. Swain. We're gonna be playing Ash Swain into Jinx Rakan. This is a pretty good duel because the Ash slows make it easy for Swain to land the knee. And once I hit level 6, my ultimate would also will also set up a free Swain E or Swain E will set up a free Ash ult. Either way, it's pretty good. Rakan is also not as strong a laner as Swain, so we should have an easy time in lane. Jinx also not as good a laner as Ash. We're going Rakan here because I can't really risk going on Jinx there. Unless I want to get knocked up by Rakan W in range of focus of Jinx. Okay, this should be good. I'm going to pop Ghost here because they're in a really bad spot here with my lethal tempo stacks activated. I should have waited with that. Oh god, he's, she's still dead. Rakan doesn't have the flashes too, thank you. I'm missing lost hits here, but that's fine. I actually would just wanted to crash this as fast as possible. So the minions start cr uh, crashing faster. Alright, we actually want to start focusing on just now before the cannon. Before the melee start advancing into the turret. So they help us finish shoving the wave. There we go. Now I'm just going to base. <coughs> Nice one, Swain. Alright, so this game we're facing potentially two very tanky champs in Yorick, who I, I don't know if he'll really build that tanky, but at the very least, Amumu tends to build really tanky. He might actually go Leandris, or not Leandris, uh, the other thing that does the same thing, but it's not Leandris. What is it? Demonic Embrace, yeah. Might go Demonic Embrace so it won't be like super tanky. What the hell happened here? But uh, yeah, I mean generally like he has a tank, right? So I think we'll go for the anti-tank build this game. There's not too much burst that we have to avoid on, in this game anyway besides the Silas. And besides that, uh, unless they've patched this out 
already, which I don't think they have because this has been in the game for years. Uh, Amumu also hard counters Ash because his E reduces damage per hit, which for Ash, Q is actually coded as like six different hits in one hit, right? So that actually means that you do very little damage to Amumu if you activate Q. I actually don't know if activating Q even does more damage than just not activating Q against the Mumu. Like, it is... It is dire. Like, you, So you just struggle a lot to kill a Mumu, generally, as Ash. So you would rather build uh, items that help to burn tanks with, without relying completely on Ash's regular autos, which is going to be her Q, right? If we activate her Q and get the attack speed boost, and it leads to more Kraken Slayer procs, and also more Bork procs, then that's going to help us burn a Mumu in a way that isn't hard countered by a Z, right? So that'll be nice. They might have patched it out though, I'm not sure, because I did check his win rate right before this game, his win rate against Dash, and it's not as crazy as it used to be. I swear she had like a... She, has to, she used to have like a 45% win rate against a Mumu in any role. But, uh, or maybe it was just only in support, I don't remember, but... At the moment, it seems like she's only got like a 48% or 49% win rate, which is still like worse than you'd expect. But maybe... Maybe just uh, a... A normally bad win rate. Alright, nice one. We'll just disengage her. I don't want to trade against her if it means taking up all these minions. Okay, Mom was currently mid. Need to stay aware of that. I think they leashed, didn't they? So, I think Mom was probably going to be pathing top side now. He started bot and he's got more than one full clear worth of camps, which means probably he did his bot side camps again, and now his only camps that are up are top side. Z to confirm my theory. No, he's actually back bot. He's kind of squishy right now, though. Wow, they just really want only me, though. Okay, that should be a clone jinx. Not bad. I gotta focus on Momo. Yep, okay, so that, yeah, it does still work that way. I just My auto attack damage just dropped from 52, no, say 62 per auto to 43. <laughs> Ah, should have had that last one. Oh well. That is just oh, so dumb, man. So yeah, we're gonna do the anti tank build. Because even if we get really fed and a Mumu gets really behind, or even if he builds some AP, we're still gonna be dealing like dreadfully low damage if we don't go the anti tank build. Because then all of our damage will depend only on our regular auto attacks, which fucking suck against the Mumu. Spend, do you wanna do something? He didn't cast a Z, was that on cooldown or what? Wait, don't pull her in. I actually just need to leave. Let's do my stuff on that farm, but mainly I just do too much damage there unnecessarily. Um, I won't get away with basing there. I'll need to back all the way off. Rosumumu should be top side, I assume. Never got to see whether his, uh, which camps were actually down or not. Got ganked exactly as I used the. Okay, I don't want to let this crash, so I'm just not gonna let it crash. I'm gonna drag it all the way out. It's better if I join it up with uh, the next wave. Yep, there we go. We avoid tanking as much as we can. We don't need to tank up any of this, these minis, we just need to drag them. And as they join up with the next wave, it means that uh, despite the minis being low, it still results in a healthy freeze. Because they only confront my minions at the same time as the rest of the wave does, instead of taking them on 4v6 or 4v7.
Oh, damn it. I thought she was going to run to the left. Okay, at least I delayed a Mumu. <laughs> Which turned out to be pretty significant, actually. 44 damage per auto, man. God. Okay, it does have Tabis now, at least. So yeah, on hit will help a lot against the Momo. On hit or on attack, same thing. On attack is what Kraken Slayer is. Another E, super safe from Mumua. Okay, I just saw a mid lane. Never mind. I'm just gonna shove a wave now and also play some vision since I'm sitting on two trinkets. Yeah, um, honestly, God, Ash actually does feel so good now, though, with the extended Q duration. It's so nice. Oh, but I was busy reading the tooltip. Yeah, six seconds. They increased the uptime by two seconds. Can use another E in a sec. May as well use it close to their turret. Trying to see as much of their jungle as possible. Oh, actually, it doesn't really matter. We just need to see top side. That was a nice attempt at trapping me by Jinx there. If I actually got rooted there, I would be fucked. Too close to the turret to fight back properly. Kind of a vault or what? A right, nice one. We'll just leave that there. We don't need to get this next plating. Man, if I'd gone longsword instead of dagger, though, I'd have shield bow right now. Wow! Oh my god! I was th I was literally when I started channeling my recall, I was like, she could technically cancel this with her ultimate, but she won't. Nobody does that. I actually almost had it cancelled by a roll, Jesus Christ. I was so close, I actually thought it was gonna hit me. Thank god I didn't waste time in starting my recall. Well, I did waste a slight bit of time, and the showcase is why it's so important to not waste time. Oh my lord, this Yone. Oh my god. No way. That's crazy. No, they got too cocky. I couldn't uh, help there. Unfortunately, I wouldn't get there in time. I would have been wasting my time. But they hit the other minion. I'm actually just so used to the old Ash Q duration, though. I keep feeling it ending before it actually ends, you know? Okay, Momo's on the way. Just checking all of his camps. I think everything is up. Everything except topside. Just gonna focus. Recon will my queues up. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the moment at least I do more damage to Mumu without activating Q. As we get more points in Q, it might stop being the case, but... Yeah, these are... This is also a hard lane for Mumu to gank, honestly. Swain is really good at these 2v3s.
Would have been nice to get Shield Ball, but I don't think it's worth waiting for. Unless... Or sorry, I'm not Shield Ball. I mean, cash out the call. I mean, it's not too important, so... But uh, we can actually just get the Drake, and that gives me an excuse to stick around until there's actually another wave that I can farm. Otherwise, I'd just recall. <laughs> nice. Yeah, now we may as well farm this wave. And I'm out of here. How okay, you want Ooh! No, if I had ult, I could snipe him! Oh. Unlucky. No, wait! I just realized! Okay. It's a good thing that I'm so fed. I forgot that I wasn't doing shield bow this game. <laughs> but I'm so fed that I can just uh, immediately get the Kraken Slayer anyway. That's nice. Oh, and it doesn't fucking matter apparently. Okay. GG. Kind of underwhelming, but I'll take it. Yo, what up gamers, we are back for another game of Ash the Diamond. This time we're going to be playing Ash Melio into Caitlyn Nautilus. And Ash Melio sounds like a really sick bot lane. So I'm excited to try this one out. Ash, or Caitlyn Nautilus is going to be a little bit tough in the laning phase, but at least Caitlyn doesn't really have... Too much follow up to the Nautilus engage, so long as. Oh. As long as she doesn't land the trap on me or a direct Q like that. We'll just keep cutting, cutting the Nautilus here. Okay, we just won this fight. That's fine, we'll just switch focus on the Caitlyn now, make sure we're out of range of uh, Nautilus. Stay on the Caitlyn. Oh, come on. Mm, would be trolled to flash through now. That is actually very unlucky. We should have been able to go both. Oh, well. Still a pretty decent outcome. First blood goes to me. That was a bit slow. Honestly, we didn't even need her. It's better that she just did her golems. Um... Is this actually pushing towards us? This is pushing towards us, isn't it? We can leave the wave like this. I think Killam must have hit some minions with a Q or something. I was just thinking, how am I going to shove this? But actually, I don't even need to. Just base for coal. And refillable. And that's a hell of a base. So I'm going to be doing the shield build again this game. Since the enemy team is not really that tanky. Oh, apparently they got a Darius jungle. Is he going to be pathing bots since the enemy bot lane didn't leash? He only took far too long to get into lane here for some reason. She missed out on a lot, whereas I'm going to arrive into this massive wave. She's not even level 2 yet. I'm probably going to hit level 3 off this wave. Well, maybe not. If I was, if this was all solo XP, then I would probably be 3, but... I am sharing it with Melio, to be fair. Man... Ash really does suck at last hitting into turret. It's barely better than Tristana. That was a little bit risky. Since we didn't have minion cover, but I figured Killen was too far away to actually follow it up too well. Nautilus needs to get into position to follow up here. It's too late now. We've already won the fight now. Is there a trap somewhere? Not that I can see. Oh yeah, she took it. She doesn't have traps yet. <clears throat> um, I think I'm gonna slow push this wave and crash the next one. Because I'm not sure I'd crash it too well. With Ash's really crappy early game wave clear. I would crash it if it weren't the cannon wave. It's the cannon that really messes up the overall clear. So, now that this isn't the cannon wave and it's a lot cl closer to the enemy side of the map as well. It's a lot smarter to try and crash it now. This is guaranteed to be a much better crash. Just punish Kill him while we're at it. Oh my lord. <laughs> she could just eat away. I don't think she expected to get chased down that hard. I could stick around. I'm gonna stick around. I would have based, but now nah, this kill is just so low we can just keep punishing that. 
Ah, wanted to get the kill on. Oh well. I would have preferred the cheeser though, it's a shame about Melio getting engaged on there and baiting me out. <laughs> Should have just ignored it. Hmm, she's actually recovered a lot of HP. I think she had like two potions. Can't even really abuse her now. Should have just based actually. Okay, we definitely can't fight now that now that he just cleared that cannon. Now that he's cleared the cannon, we just lost a huge part of our DPS from this wave. And they've still got their cannon, so we don't want to fight them. Even at a wave disadvantage, I would have still been fine taking a trade, really. But uh, not without the cannon. It's too big a disadvantage. Okay, here we can just slow push two waves and crash again. Yeah, next wave. It's not a cannon wave. So we'll just start shoving hard because we shove so slowly anyway that we won't be over pushing here. Actually, I might just try doing three points in W then max Q. Since Q is so good now. And then nerf W again. There we go. Easy crash. We'll just rush the shield ball this time. Won't bother with the dagger. And we're going for the noon cover here instead of vamps up there. Since we don't really need to sustain too much in this lane. We just mainly want DPS to... Burn down Nautilus and Caitlyn. We're not taking too much broke in this lane despite facing Caitlyn. It's because her support does not support a win condition of poke. She's got an all-in support and that's mainly what their focus will be in lane. Like, there's no point in me uh, abandoning the CS just to get some hits on Nautilus, so... Melee was just taking damage there for no reason. My bad though, I probably should have uh, used my E at some point and would have revealed Darius on the Drake, which we didn't have to give up. Since Kaelin isn't in lane, so we, there was nothing stopping us from contesting that. Okay, so she would have actually- I didn't aim that perfectly, so she would have actually dodged it with even without flashing, if not for the fact that she was slowed by my passive. So even with my imprecise aim- Oh, she's in trouble now because she doesn't have a ER flash. Up goes, so we can keep chasing her down. Oh, I can't finish her off sadly because of Nautilus. Oh well. She's dead now though. Nice one. If Melee would take aggro now, then we could dive Nautilus. But I don't think he will. Oh, this is fine too. Fuck. Oh, come on, no! Dude, I was behind the wall and it still hit me. Alright, that sucks. Hmm. I'm literally about to get boots. Might as well sell this and get Berserkers. An ally has been slain. Ah, no. Wrong one. There we go. I am a war mother, a chieftain. Only because no one else will do what must be done. I just, um... I guess I was getting aggro there from the Melio burn. Yeah, that's what screwed me there.
I had to flash out as well because I was super deep in by the time I got aggro. And on top of that, I was slowed by Glacial. So if I didn't flash out, I would have taken two turret shots, I think. It's a shame that the Melio burn just doesn't give Melio himself aggro. <laughs> and that would have been a perfect dive since Melio would have taken aggro whether he liked it or not. Um, Yeah, I think we'll just commit to Max and Q now. <clears throat> They're both level six, so I gotta watch out for that. Actually, life still through so much of Dylan's damage right now. Oh, she should be dead here. Or him, maybe. Got him. Ooh, no, I just barely didn't. Fuck. Do I get her? Ah, if he actually put a shield on me, she would have been dead. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, we're getting ganked. Fuck, I'm gonna miss the cannon. Oh, nice one, Melio. Good shit. Wait, what? Did she die to minions? No fucking way. Oh. No way, okay. Sadly, no sis for me, but I'll take it. At least I get XP as well, I assume. Meanwhile, top lane. Yeah, I'll shove one more wave. Cool. Let's get out of here. Okay, I don't finish gushing out the coal, but it's not too important. We get Mythic either way. All it would change is that I would be able to get Crit Cloak instead of a Dagger. So in this game, I might actually go... Um yeah, I think I'll do the Runan's third build. Because it will be really useful for cutting Darius. It's not just uh, really good for cutting because of the movement speed, although that is the most obvious thing. It's also like a cheap source of crit, which gives you basically stronger slows, as we know. Uh, and it also gives you more attack speed, which as we mentioned previously in the video as well. Also makes your auto attacks come out quicker, which means every auto attack locks you down in place for just a little bit less. Meaning as you do like five auto attacks across a chase or across running away from somebody, you spend less time stuck on the ground while, while auto attacking. Making your chasing or hiding more effective that way. Oh, are they on Drake? I'm actually going to give up this wave because we really want to contest that if possible. Oh no. Pop up ghost. Oh god. I probably should have focused Darius actually instead of Caitlyn. I'm dead here no matter what, but... Yeah, at least we managed to get Darius. Yeah, honestly, Darius is a way bigger threat than Caitlyn. I got greedy focusing Caitlyn. As much as she's squishier, she is just not the priority target there, because she is fucking useless. Darius was way better to focus there. He wouldn't have done nearly as much damage. He would have died a lot sooner. There's a fucking motorbike outside that just... It was so loud I couldn't even hear myself speaking there. <laughs> I don't know if I might capture that because of my uh, noise reduction software, but Jesus. Oh, I hope this kind of lives. Ah, uh, it's getting focused for no reason. No, oh, this one melee just 
decided to fuck me over for nothing. Oh well. Anyway, at least the wave state ended up being pretty good even though I left it in a bad state. The enemies didn't uh, abuse that. They couldn't abuse it since Killen was dead. I guess we'll just freeze. And try and kill Killen if she gets back into lane alone since not, we see Nautilus mid at the moment. Even if he was here, we know we're a lot stronger than them. Where the hell is she? Also, it would be nice if Mila would stop spamming autos while I'm trying to freeze. Legendary. First turret is down. We are in no hurry to take this turret. Okay, so Kaelin is mid. She has no. If we push now, she has no time to get bot. Oh, hello. Let's just rank kill him then. Okay, not who I expected to kill, but I'll take it. Yeah, I figured if we just crash that wave real fast, uh, it's guaranteed to crash and Kaelin loses the farm either way. Emilio can get the push he so desperately wanted. It's all cool for Phantom Dancer. <laughs> nice right, Nautilus. I'm getting so greedy trying to clear this pink as well. Can always pop the ghost if I need to. Nautilus doesn't have tier 2 boots, so I think I'm okay. Unless he gets in range to ult me or something. I'm actually gonna have to flash away. It's so annoying. Oh my lord. Nice one. Still got ghost active, Darius doesn't. Yes, kill goes to me, awesome. He was able to catch me there because he had Nimbus Cloak and I don't. Probably should have not bothered out attacking and should have just catted him out until it was over. All good though. I think I'll push top. Okay, you see exactly you see there exactly why the Renan's third will be so nice. Just every little helps kiting Darius. Yeah, let's try and get the streak. Ooh, is that, it would actually be their third drake. I should have prioritized this more. Seems we'll get it pretty easily anyway. We're all distracted with Zed. <laughs> nice. Actually, do they even burn this uh, fast enough? Uh oh. Doris is here. Oh my god, no. Fuck, it's so risky to jump in here. I can't. Oh no. Oh, we're getting chased down here. Oh my god. I think I live here, barely. Jesus. God, they really want me.
Atlas. You can see your teammates are way too far away, buddy. This is just completely hands-free. Oh, God. Got shield bow. Nice one. Let's try and get Fira too, since we got this range boost. Should've dodged that, my bad. Oh, good. Is alive just Darius. You shouldn't have ghost up until I have mine up. Yeah, he's just dead. Hands free, hands free. Okay. Ooh, and Hurl. Push another turret here, hopefully. I can't believe that pauses the Herald for so long, holy shit. That is such a dumb interaction. Not broken, because usually- oh, my bad. Usually it doesn't matter anyway, but... It's, it just looks so weird, there's no reason for that to happen. Oh, no, I don't want to tank up two turrets. Oh, and this popped my ghost. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave. We'll get the red buff on the way out on the way out if it's up. Yep, perfect. Remember, Ash deals damage by being a really annoying mosquito that just never leaves you alone. Sort of like Zeri. So it may feel like if you don't go Infinity Edge Threat and instead do a Zilatum. You may feel like you're doing, like, no damage. Because your autos don't hit very hard. But remember, it's all about how much damage it allows you to deal. And the, nobody will be able to escape you with this build. And, it like, it makes you able to kite in more situations where you wouldn't be able to kite with Infinity Edge. Which means you can fight in those situations when you wouldn't with Infinity Edge. Which means you will deal more damage in those situations that you wouldn't do with Infinity Edge. Man, it should have ulted back way sooner. Avoid the Darius Q. Guess it's fine either way. Uh, we should be top side. We shouldn't be trying to help Zed. We should be taking advantage of the fact that their jungler is bot to do Baron. <laughs> I can probably 1v2, but I don't have shield bow up, so I don't know if I want to test my theory. Okay, that's a 1v3. I just got bored. Life steal, life steal, life steal. Okay. Nice one. I guess everyone saw escapes. Or does he? Doesn't have flash, then he's dead. Life steal, life steal. There we go. Alright, I need to leave. I'm far too low. <clears throat> we should also make sure they don't get the Drake Soul, actually. Hello. My bad. Didn't see that coming. I was I was literally part of the reason why I started running was because I knew Pharaoh was up and I didn't want to get chased down by our home guards in base. Huh. Smart trap from her. Is there any sign of that? I just don't get why she wouldn't have been just fucking collapsing on me here, because I was already so low. She had no guarantee that I would step into that brush. 
Yeah, she shouldn't have even been in that brush. She should have legitimately been, like, just around this corner. Still, worked out for her. And they got the soul, despite my best efforts. Damn. Um, I won't bother waiting for this. Definitely gonna have to be Lord Dominic's final item then. Okay, nice. See, each auto does very little damage, but at the end of the day, I did 2,000 damage to Nautilus, didn't I? I did his entire HP bar, just like I would have done no matter how much damage I built. Your DPS doesn't matter as much as your ability to output damage does. And chasing power gives Ash a lot of damage. He better not- Oh my god. This Darius gets fucking everything, bro. Nope. There we go. <laughs> I mean, if it's any- I mean, it is some comfort to me that we will just win this game no matter what anyway. Because I am just that much better than these players, fortunately, but... I would be very, very frustrated if this were my fucking Diamond or Master games. Yeah, as I was saying, I mean, one auto- or sorry, your DPS doesn't matter as much as your ability to output damage. And Ash has a lot of ability to output damage. So, given the fact that one auto leads to like fucking 50 more autos if she wants to, you know? Okay, he takes the wave, I guess, but I'll just kill him. Ow. <laughs> this fucking range is insane, man. Fucking love uh, Amelia with Ash. And that's GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back for another game of Ash the Diamond. This time I'm going to be playing Ash Amumu. Her and her biggest counter, love to see it. On the same lane. Against Tristana and Morgana. So Morgana, uh, going to be quite annoying for Amumu to face, unfortunately. She's actually quite a hard counter to him. We'll see what we can do. Ow, god, I, I don't know how I didn't know she was in that brush, my bad. Need to back off before Chistana gets another odd attack. Yep, yeah, my bad. I think I just need the base. Can't risk staying here. It's gonna take them a while to crash this wave anyway, because they can't crash this one, right? They gotta crash the next one, which is a cannon wave. So it gives me a lot of time to get back into lane. <clears throat> Not the ideal start to a lane, but... Sure beats dying. That could have been a lot worse. Careful, Momo. Careful, Momo. This is far too risky. I appreciate the intent. Oh my god, he's actually a smurf, though. He actually delayed the wave. Crashing for a while. It only basically got me XP from one minion. But, yeah, I mean, like, it, it absolutely was not worth the risk, but at least it did pay off and give me some free XP. Yeah, 
am. <clears throat> yeah, Tristana's out of position right now. She can't engage on me here. Morgana couldn't follow up either. Close one. It's fine. We search for Custa Tristana. She's in, soon as she's in range. I don't know why Momo isn't doing anything here. I'm dead now. That should not have been a 1v1, the, or sorry, 1v2 the whole time. Oh, man. Well, that really blows. <laughs> that was completely related to what happened in the level 1. We had pretty much, because um, Stun hadn't had a chance to spend her gold yet, and because we were the same levels, this is literally completely independent of what happened in level 1. Like here, Momo has the chance to just pop through these minions and zone Tristana, right? And if she tries to capitalize on it, that would be a mistake because she gets hit by a Momo Q. But he doesn't do anything except hit the minions. That's just pretty un unlucky for me. Wasn't unlucky for him, he just didn't play well. Alright, nice. Thought it would be better than that considering he seems to know about the concept of freezing, at least, even if he chose a bad time to try it. And helps me loss under turret. Okay, Tristana is... roaming. It's hard to try and crash this to punish her though, because it's gonna take forever to crash this. I mean, we should try and help at least. It's just not touching the minions. Yeah, I swear this happens every time I try and punish somebody's roam by shoving. My support doesn't help me crash and then we don't end up really even denying anything and we would have denied more just by continuing to slow push thing is on the surface it looks like you're just ignoring the room and not trying to punish at all but it's like what other what what other what other alternative is there because it can't roam i mean she, somehow she's just not even coming back to the lane so i guess i did deny stuff but we shouldn't have done considering how delayed i was getting into lane oh my god she's playing this well look how long she's holding on to her q now she fucked up though because she decided to use it and missed Nice one. Mark where they died. That she played that really well up until the miss, though. Because most Morganas would just throw their Q immediately. And then the moment the misses, then they're going to get hard punished. We just walk up with a wave, trying to make sure Tristana doesn't freeze, and now I can base. Okay, we're gonna be doing the anti-burst build again. We'll, we'll basically call it anti-tank build and anti-burst build. That's the simplest way to refer to the builds. D4 might get a little bit tanky, but it looks like he's not going full tank. And between him and Aurelia, they're just, like they're gonna be a little bit tanky, but not impossible to deal with if you don't build anti-tank. Should've ghosted for the cannon. Okay, I got red buff. I wanna try and abuse this onto Tristana while it- Oh! God damn it. I need to flash out. Ah, I think I'm still dead either way. Yep, that sucks. My bad. Okay, I mean, the Morgana does play really well, to be honest. Like, the first- the first one in that brush, I guess that was just a brain fart for me, because I don't know how I didn't realize she was there, but that was pretty good. Hiding outside of vision. Now I'm really wishing I'd just run cleanse. I didn't think I would need it. But clearly I was wrong. My mother, my enemy has been slain. Died trying to 
give me a better life. So I will die fighting to give all Averroes a better life. We don't overextend too far, but since she's going for the cannon, we know she's not going to be trading back. I think just on his basing. If I can get this plating. Yeah. Won't be solo, but I'll take it. I uh, think we can also shove another wave here. Oh, she's gonna engage. I need the ghost. If I didn't ghost, she could just get an ultimate range and just run me down that way without even needing to land the Q. Okay, honestly, it was probably good to shove another wave, but besides costing me my ghost, it didn't matter much. As long as I actually get my base off here. Oh my god, they did have vision. Is the bomb gonna land on me now? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I'm Dorado. Nice. That's fucking funny. It couldn't have hit me sooner, man, so I could regen that HP. <laughs> Thankfully, she didn't shove this wave as fast as she could because she missed out on her E. Her E went on me, so she didn't have it to shove. Okay, we're gonna do the Q max second again. Or, well, Q max after three points in W. So that felt really good in the previous game. Her Q is like the strongest it's ever been, and her W is like the weakest it's ever been, so. Makes too much sense. Had a feeling we might be getting ganked. We're gone out of brush somewhere. What? Because Shlana was advancing very suspiciously there. Oh. Well, that's not smart, is it? Let's try and CC chain as hard as we can. Yes! Kill goes to me. There's not much for me to do here except shove. Because I... Yep. Yeah. Did not want to risk overextending there. Is she actually going to live? Holy crap. Hopefully that helps. Oh, she might live, but there's a Mazahar after her as well. Ah, she just got chased down by the... before. Probably because she had to change direction because of Mazahar. Why does that? What? Why does she have crown? Am I getting ganked? Ah, I can't chase her down either way because of the black shield. She's suddenly playing bad again. Ah, I have to let it happen. Can't do anything about this freeze with J4 in the brush. Or maybe she doesn't play bad again. She threw a bad Q at least. If she's not smurfing, I'm amazed. No fate is written except by us. Hmm, not really smurfing, but she's been golden every season and now she's in low soul for Mamar. Don't know how that is. Maybe do a win. Okay, Tristana wants the base, so we want to crash this as hard as we can. But also like to cancel their bases if possible. Tristana's in trouble now. Or Morgana. Okay, we did a lot of damage. Ooh, and we get a kill. Perfect. Fuck. 
Hang on. There we go. Damn, I forgot I had shield bow. Might not have needed the flash. Oh well. But I said been sorry. That was a really good fight and they miss out on so much farm here now. Don't know where J4 is. Hopefully not coming towards me. If I can get two plettings here, that would be so nice. Then I should be able to shove another wave as well since their death timers are so long. Oh, can I actually just get the turret? God, that's so annoying. I was about to fucking get the lost plating. Not the lost plating, but a plating before the plating's fall. Okay, nice. Thing is, if I didn't tank that turret, I might not have time to get the turret after shoving in the wave, so. Figured that was worth the risk. Was that first turret? Yeah, holy shit, it was. Nice. So worth it. This just not like he's getting so many kills from roaming, though. <laughs> That's so annoying. I think this time we'll do Infinity Edge Third again, because we might need that to burst down Tristana a lot, depending on how the fights play out. Um, uh, but because of our ability to dive in on squishies like me, it's a lot more likely to be oh, relevant. Fuck, I'm gonna die here. Or they're really massively zoned off. Yeah, exactly. Because of that, I'm a lot more likely to need to be able to burst down Tristana as opposed to Caitlyn. Also, uh, she one-shots me a lot harder than Caitlyn did in the previous game, so... Also need her to die faster if I do find her in my attack range. Yeah, I don't know, this game just feels dramatically higher level than the previous games, just because of Morgana. She doesn't even feel like a gold player. Nice. Which falls either way. Nice one. I'm very close to being able to get Phantom Dancer. I'll prioritize the enemy camp here over my minions. I only miss one melee for that, and in the process, I deny a ton of gold from the enemies. Nice one. Now we can do Phantom Dancer. Won't even sell the coal, I'll just sell refillable. Even better. Nice one. I guess Malza hard than a vault. Oop, oh, he's just running into Tristana now though. <laughs> Ridiculous how many kills she's getting this way, man. She can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> J4 is probably over the wall trying to EQ ult me. The fucking Kindred ult is so bad for me, what? Okay, we still get her. I'll focus Morgana, make sure she dies. There we go. Ah, fuck, I didn't see his flag. Okay, I'm fine, I hope. There we go. Does he get slowed? He doesn't. Yeah, I'm all, I'm all good, I'm good, I'm good. Just let me get to the minions, I want a lifesteal. I don't know how he guessed exactly when my W came up, but he somehow backed off exactly as my W came up. Alright, nice one. Yeah, and that sort of thing is exactly why we need in or would desire Infinity Edge more here, because we need Tristana to die literally in less auto attacks, as opposed to doing any sort of kiting action, you know? I'll 
piss now. Mm. That's fun. On a base. This will go bot. <sighs> That's not good. Gonna be pushing bot for a while then, I guess, since they're all topside. God, but they might do Baron. This is such bad timing for two people to get caught out on top, literally on top side. While I'm bot side, oof. I think I just need to run to Baron to make sure they don't do it. So no, because if Baron wasn't spawning, I will just keep pushing the turret. Okay, they're not gonna do it. Um, can protect Varus then? Oh. You could just bait. Come on. Come on. You know you guys want him. Oh well. Um Kindred. I'm just gonna rush the dragon and hope it works out. J4 might not think that I'm just soloing it. He's in the pit just out of vision. Okay, thank god we got it. Fucking go. Where is she? Hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Fuck. I should be fine now. She, I wasted. I bought a lot of time where she couldn't auto attack me, but I was auto attacking her, and the time that she spent jumping through, or flashing through. Okay, not bad. I was worried for a second there that maybe it would screw me to not have ult for Aurelia. But in the end I just baited a good fight. They chose to go in because I didn't have ult. Aurelia for sure just needed to focus me, although I was gonna flash through the wall either way. Um, I'll check wolves and if they're not up I can definitely get the blue, I know that. Looks like they are up, so I can hopefully get both. Oh, is this marked for her? I can't tell because of the ping on the map. Oh, it is. Okay, I guess I'll leave it. I mean... Does she even have time to get here, though? That's the thing. I'll start it and try and set it up for her, but... Yeah, like, there's no chance. Like, I may as well have just taken it myself. Oh, just found that might be trouble here, though. Yeah, she's dead. We don't want to overchase her, though. At the very least, I need to stay out of range of the J4 ult. Pop the ghost, try and get Mozahar now. Fuck. I knew what was tanking the turret. Ooh. Oh my lord. Uh. Oh no. Just need to run. Wait, can I help her? Hmm. It's dead no matter what. We leave him. Your team has destroyed a turret. Shut down. You face an ice cold. I'll take this and also the red buff and then I'll base. <clears throat> An enemy has been slain. 
Okay, and I think next item I won't even bother. Like, the full damage here obviously would just be Lord Dominic's. But I mainly wanted the full damage through Infinity Edge uh, for Tristana, right? And we don't need Armor Pen against her. For the rest of them, I think Runen's will be good for kiting. Kiting and chasing. Then maybe I'll even just do Bloodthirst or Final Item instead of... Uh, what's it called? Or Dominic's. Oh, you're kidding me. I gotta get away from here. Fuck, I'm probably dead. I can't position myself to, uh... Hold the Aurelia. I just, I was, just couldn't move, I was stuck. Oh man. Just because I died does not mean the entire team needs to die. They're gonna get burned now. That sucks. This should not have been an ace. My team just willingly took a 4v5 basically with our, our strongest member dead. That didn't make any sense. I mean, I'm definitely overextended here, or was there at least. Been going for this wave, uh... Definitely greedy in hindsight, but not as egregious as the position mispositioning before, but this is what got punished anyway. But unfortunately, that he chose to flash for me there, though. Well, I did not flash. Hopefully should be able to get the Drake again. We'll just ignore the mid wave and just go straight for the Drake. Kindred is with us and she's fight, so. Oh, drag it out, drag it out. Oh, whatever. Need to rush it down. Okay, we got it. <laughs> J4 did not even take the fastest pathing. I guess he thought it would burn a lot slower. Focus J4. I don't care if it hits Mazahar or Aurelia. If it hits Mazahar, it gets me a kill. If it hits Aurelia, it's even more useful for winning the fight. Awesome. Group and it is an easy win. I mean, that's that was never the issue this game, right? Like, there are some games where which are just easy wins, which you lose because your team never groups. But that was literally just me getting caught. Okay, whoops. Oopsie. Hee <laughs> hee. Happens. And then the rest of the team going, let's fight a 4v5, you know? <laughs> like, the issue wasn't that we got... That we were never grouping or anything. Just literally one person got caught and the rest decided to clown it down as well. But, uh, yeah. Wasn't a recurring issue, thankfully. GG. Yo, what up gamers? We are back. I'm gonna pop it, the ghost here, so we can go in. Worried about getting flanked by this Nautilus, but it's fine. We can't get burst down here, so we just bait them in. We should focus Ezreal, actually. He's gonna have to flash out as well, I think. Can I get him? No, we'll go for Nautilus for now. We know he's gonna flash. Ah, it's a shame it goes to Senna. Uh, can I keep going on Belveth? If I knew she was going to step forward, it's like that. Okay, okay, we should be able to get their blue now. Hello, gamers. We are playing Ash Senna. Uh, wait, are we not going to get their blue? Oh, whatever. going to be bringing Ash Senna into Ezreal Nautilus. Off to a decent start already. <coughs> I guess I get a little bit of sustain from Senna to make up for this HP I'm missing. I didn't have time to recall. Yeah, above that's so low. We sh definitely should have been getting that, I think. Oh, well. Yeah, Ash is pretty good at getting those level 1 kills and invades. I like to invade with Ash whenever possible. Problem with uh, trying to fight Ash in the level 1 is that if she flashes away, then you can just can't escape from her again and can't close the gap with her either, so... It was a huge mistake for them to commit so hard onto me when I could just flash out. 
After that, one of them either also has to flash out or has to die if they don't have flash. And since we know Nautilus didn't have flash there, that was at least one person we could kill. I'll back off here. I don't want to take too much minion aggro. I'm low enough as it is. I would like to ideally just shove this wave in base. God, I wish supports would just pay attention to the ping that literally says push. Push. There we go. Bot lane should be the easiest lane to just crash in waves, just because you have two people hitting the wave instead of one. But it is so hard to get your support on board with that idea. There we go. Must I? No. Because they they don't even know that I recalled, right? So they're not even going to try and crash this. Until it's too late at least, so I won't miss too much for this. I might miss three melees or so. Then I can stay in lane, start freezing. Trying to be as rule with my small item advantage. If he could if he could have crashed this, which he could have, that would have been pretty good. But... Ah. I could have actually missed even less. Like, I might have been able to get XP from two melees, which would have been huge. But she just killed them too early. Okay, so we just focus on thinning this out. If they don't get a good... If they don't get a crash, they can't get a good base to try and match me. Thing is, we... Um, thinned out the wave too hard, so if they were to base now, they could actually... Get a decent base, I guess. But they chose not the base, so that's good. Okay, he's dead. Is he not a V? What the hell? He would have been dead either way, I think. But well, n um, after getting hit by the W, he would have been dead either way, but. Could have just eat the W. Don't know if. Using my W just to get one caster was even worth it compared to crashing this foster. Um, damn. That's not good. Okay, it's over. Just gonna base. They'll probably get the Drake. Or at least they should get the Drake. Seek peace, but bring the tools of war. This doesn't mean I'm weak. Jenna Smite though. Oh, they're not even on it. Okay. Cool. Maybe we can get it at a future date then. Alright, so Original is at a pretty weak point of his build right now. He doesn't have Sheen yet. He only has Tear. Tear and one Longsword. Which is... He's basically down like two Longswords on me, basically. And that's that matter for fights. Still don't want to get all in by Nautilus. Because Nautilus is going to be a lot better in all ins than Senna. But... He's got no key now. There we go. Nice one. Both kills to me this time. Huge. Sadly, I miss having the cannon. But it's all good. What attacks feel so slow this game? What is going on? I shall show another wave. I didn't realize we didn't crash it properly. Yeah, no, I do need to crash Dana. I'm not just going to sacrifice my wave state every time somebody wants to do Drake. Thing is, in high low, the junglers would actually help you push and then do Drake. That's why this always seems so awkward, where it seems like I'm prioritizing farming over getting the Drake every fucking time. And it's because every fucking time, the jungler doesn't shove out the wave before going to do Drake, you know? It's awkward, but it is what it is. I don't want to give up farm. 
Because farm is guaranteed. For all I know, Bel Belveth could flash through the wall and steal the streak. You know? <laughs> like Darius did many times in a previous game. Uh, which world are we going for this game? Just the anti-burst one. Don't know if we'll get to use the anti-tank one. At all in this video. Just people tend to not really pick tanks. They really should have been there, Drake, though. They missed their opportunity to take it. Love the streak as well. Reduces 7 seconds of cooldown on my ultimate, which could be pretty big. A little bit of cooldown reduction on my W as well, which is pretty nice. And the attack speed will feel super smooth. Right, so I'm so ahead that I don't even care about getting hooked by Nautilus at this point. We would just win. Ooh, I was so worried I'd miss that. Nice one. Alright, I'm out. We don't know that we're not getting ganked by Yasuo. It's unlikely, I feel like, but... Nice, and this is kind of whip, so it's the perfect time to base as well. Let's get a dagger. I have heard no better words than the strong must try impossible. <coughs> this is the oath I must fulfill. That's fine. Don't want to fight without Senna, but I can just trade against Ezreal while Nautilus is too far away to actually follow up. Ezreal has no E now, right? I nearly got ult. Fuck, hang on. I thought I already had it, though. Got him. <laughs> nice try, Senna. Okay, we know Nautilus is alone for now. I feel like if I uh, kited out sort of the third aggro more effectively there, I just kind of got lazy and got hit for no reason there at the end. I could have actually killed Nautilus. We'll just keep pushing for now, I guess. Oh, didn't mean to get hit by this, by the Q. Oh god, don't know why I didn't expect to get ganked here, but wasn't expecting it. Okay, we live. Didn't mean to hit that. Meant to click. Got him. Ah, now I'm fucked though. Oh well. Oof. Damn. Oh, look how close I guess I can sell my dagger. That's fine. Main thing I did wrong here was I backed off for no reason there. We didn't need to back off. I took some burst for measure, which kind of scared me, but I wasn't like they didn't have any more damage to kill me as long as Bova couldn't reach me. If I hadn't done this, then I would have killed them slightly faster. Would have maybe given me more time to run away from Nautilus. Aside from that, I mean, kind of hard to react to the flash queue. Not much I can do about that. The only other thing I could do is stand in a way where... Oh, can this thing go away? There we go. I was standing away where Senna blocks the hook for me. But because Senna was advancing into the turret, it wasn't really much of an option. Because then I can just get finished off by Ezreal. Or I just end up running into the turret myself. Neither of which is very desirable. 
realistically I just need the main thing that went wrong there besides me you know killing them a bit slower than I could have is just that Senna didn't seem to notice Nautilus in time and just kept advancing instead of peeling me if she'd peeled me then maybe I live maybe wasn't a guarantee but would have been a much better chance all right we we'll just rush this turret down try and beat the girl taking this turret should be doable yep He's dead. Oh, okay, no, he has flash as well. But basically, the idea is that if he doesn't flash as well, like, as soon as I flash on him to auto, right? It forces a Z. Because if he doesn't E, he's gonna get uh, slowed to death, like, chained, chain slowed through auto attacks to death. So he has to use a Z to break the chain. Then once he's used the Z, he no longer has a Z to dodge my ultimate. So I hit the ultimate for free. So, assuming I, I actually aim properly, you know? At that point, the only chance of surviving is his own flash. So at least it just happened to be a flash for flash. I wish it would have just been a kill, though. I don't even think it's worth trading flash for flash. I would rather keep my flash since I need it more than he does. Making sure Diana gets all of this. Oh, hello. Need to back off to a place where Nautilus can't hook me so easily. Holy shit. He did it way too late, man. Okay, I want to slow push this wave and crash the next one because that'll give me enough to catch on my coal. Zena! Now I need to numb a single last hit here. Which would be a lot easier if she would. Oh, goddamn, now I don't have enough minions. Really, man, it was perfectly planned out where... <sighs> Dude. I had excess of minions that I could farm to cash on my coal. I just needed to miss no more than two and Senna took both. <laughs> like, what? Sorry, no more than one, rather. Oh. Just need to cut him out. Cut them it. I could actually bait him if uh, Belva wasn't coming. I just need to run. Should might dash over this wall. Okay. I guess I can just stick around for one more minion then, but... Too greedy, sorry for that. Bitch, I don't care that you died. I care that you took my minion. Apologize for the minion. I hope I get this cannon. Yeah, nice. Alright, so I'm gonna be able to base on Phantom then, sir. That's pretty neat, and I don't even have to solve coal if I get another whiff. Yep, already got it. And we just shove yet another wave. So we don't miss it later on by them crashing it. This also forces them to have to pick up this wave instead of going mid and starting to pressure while I'm basing. Or while I'm in base. And if they don't pick it up, then they're missing farm. I'm probably just gonna go back bot, but just in case there was a fight here, we path mid, since it's vaguely on the way towards bot lane anyway. Well, if there is a fight, it's just running ever more away from me. I, just, I suppose I should have just joined. I didn't expect a her full blown herald to fight. I thought this was just a chase on Yasuo. Could have been able to influence that. Okay, he's dead. I don't even need to use ult, honestly. Okay, nice. I was gonna say it would have saved me Shulbo at least, but I don't even need to use Shulbo. Awesome. No Shulbo and no ultimate. Um, This fight is gonna be over by the time I get there. I think there's no point in rotating. I'll throw my ultimate there though, see if it helps. Nah, there's no way. That fight is gonna move for sure. Does it hit? Oh my god, it did. And it hit the damage dealer. It actually hit Yasuo, holy fuck. That is such a lucky ultimate. Oh wait, was that... Oh, was that Belveth or Yasuo? Oh no, no, it wasn't Belveth, it was Yasuo. Okay. Just Belveth died first. Come on. Alright, it might be dead now. 
Still have shield bow, remember? So, yep. So a lot of Ash players just don't play this aggressively, and that's the issue. You have a lot of kill. Like Ash has so much kill potential, and people just don't take advantage of it. So Ash is actually mechanically a very, very easy champion, right? But uh, if you look at like her, her, how her win rate increases when one tricked, she's actually pretty up there as one of the champions that benefits the most from being one tricked. Which is pretty crazy considering how simple mechanically she is. And it's just because as people get more experience on Ash, they become more aware of the amount of situations they have kill potential in that less experienced Ash players just don't realize. And that's also why less experienced Ash players think that Ash just deals no damage. Like sure, technically the DPS isn't like spectacular, but it, it's it's you know it's tuned that way for a reason. She'd be fucking busted if she actually did normal damage. Because the slow makes up for the lack of damage. It converts into damage directly. Or, well, indirectly, but... You know, the effect is the same. The effect is that Jinx deals, like, 50,000 damage in a game. Well, Ash also deals 50,000 damage in a game. Just purely... Through chasing people down more effectively than Jinx does. I think either Infinity Edge or Renance is fine here. I think I'll also do Bloodthirster next, and Bloodthirster... Yeah, Bloodthirster 30 even would have been probably okay. And I'm actually probably also even going to do Bloodthirster next. It's just delaying Infinity Edge until final item. This is going to be really nice for face tanking Cannon. And other people as well, like it'll be useful for Bobeth. If he doesn't flash, then he's dead. He's dead. Even if he were to flash now, he's still dead. Wind wall. He's really behind, right? Oh, no, he's not. But I'm really ahead either way, so I think I would probably just beat him either way. As long as the wind wall is wasted before his engage. I wouldn't be so confident, probably, by the way, if I had Kraken Slayer instead of Shield Bow, but I know that I'm tanky enough to survive him. Oh, hello. Ooh, that could have been bad. I didn't expect three people to be there suddenly. Yeah, we need to back off. At any point, Nautilus could ult me. Oh. That's all I can do, just one auto. Anything more would be overextending. Bad click. Calm down, Vigor V2. Uh, there's a little bit of a risk, but... There's no minions to get onto me. Do I want to flash through for the kill? Like, honestly, it's not worth it, but it just feels so wrong not to do it, you know? But it's not worth my flash cooldown, literally. Oh, okay. Well, she dies to Asana, then. Or execute? Okay. Oh, it actually- Oh, it goes to me because I got vision over. <laughs> That's nice. Was that the full gold? I swear I only saw like 27 gold, but that does not sound right. Oh my god, if this app could actually pop up. There we go. Yeah, 274. Okay. I only saw the fucking 27. I need the flash out. Should hopefully be fine now. Especially if Santa just blocks Ezreal keys. Well, skill shots in general for me. Oh. Ah, wait, I had ult. I, for I didn't even realize. My bad. Yeah, my bad. It was too awkward trying to stay behind Santa there. Oh, no. I think I need to delete more files on this replay up. Yeah, when did my ult come up? Oh, wow, it, wow, it, it came up at the fucking start of the fight, I didn't realize. 
So th that's fine. I didn't need to use it for Yasuo, but at, at any point where Ezreal stood in front of the Nautilus, I should have used it on him. I guess there wasn't much of that, though. Like, right now, I should have ulted him. Yeah, I would have actually outplayed him so hard. He didn't have Q up. Oh, well. Straight up did not notice that. Yeah, judging by the comp this game, it's very unlikely I'll need Lord Dominic, so... <laughs> nice. Oh, he just really dies, though. Yeah, let's do the Drake. Or a Baron, rather. Actually, no, I can kill some people. Edge list load as well. Can I catch him, though? I think I can, with the W. Yeah, perfect. He's dead now. Alright, now we do Baron. Where's Bulbeth? Wait, what? Oh, I can't, I can't use abilities on the map. God damn it. I'm at UZ there. Alright, she's in base anyway. Yeah, I'm on 10 and 20, but they... Probably don't even need me, at least not to hurry over there. Alright, abyss. Actually, I should just pick up an elixir. I'm unlikely to base again for the entire rest of the game anyway, so... Buying an elixir helps prevent disaster. Nice. Suppose we'll get the free drink even though we can end. Nice one. Look at my massive holy fuck away, I just got mountain soul at the same time as the finished blood tester pretty much. I got a massive shield. Gonna have to ult me if he wants to live. Ooh, I, or actually he could have just landed that key on the wall. And of course the shield bow shield. Oh, give me out, give me out. No, <laughs> GG. Yo, the gamers, we are back for another game of Ash the Diamond. Ooh, ooh. I <laughs> didn't even notice. I'll flash off to her. Hopefully, there's nobody else here. I don't have Ghost to chase her down with. Oh God. Oh, she'll seal. Oh, ah, but she's gonna have Blast Gun, right? She doesn't. Okay, she's dead. Oh, damn it. Sucks I didn't get the kill, but well. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we could keep chasing Leona down here. I've still got lethal tempo up, so I've got a lot of damage. Nice. Just let me have the loss. Let me don't, don't Don't hit her. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Holy crap, what a start. I guess I just shove on wave and base. I, w I don't think this is going to work, but I'm going to try... Rushing down this wave as fast as I can. I wonder if it'll work. Because I have pathetic wave clear level 1. But if I tank the wave, keep it as close to the side of the map as possible, and start hitting it before it even left the turret, then maybe I can do it fast enough. Holy shit, I did it. Yeah, I can just base now. I missed some less hits. Whoops, but I will. I can just base for Cole and Longsword now. That'll be a fast as fuck Cole. Cash out. Yeah, that literally only works because we 
uh, cut out a lot of the travel time that the wave would usually have to go through in order to actually crash. Usually I has to go from here to here, so that I only had to go from here to here. We also start hitting it early. Instead of only, only starting to hit it here, we start hitting it here. That's why we were able to crash that so fast. I missed some CS for that, but we're going to be landing on an item advantage now. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm thinning this out a little bit. Don't want them to be able to crash and then base and match my items. If they want to base, I want it to be at a bad time. Where they miss farm for it. Even more farm than I missed for my back. Since at least uh, my ba my base was under my own... Uh, uh, the timing that I wanted, you know? I picked the timing. I wasn't forced to base. Skill and Navi. No, she used... She level trapped, so we know... Oh, my bad. Just keep focusing her. There we go. Oh, that could be bad. At least he went for Lux. Got it. Is he gonna get me too? No, he won't. Okay. Shame about getting ganked, but... Still a positive outcome for us overall, I would say. Lux didn't even have a shutdown since she had only just... ...killed Caitlyn. In fact, I don't think she was going to have a shutdown anyway, because I guess if she was, she would have it now. Oh, my bad. Right as she leaves the brush. we got to be careful. We don't know that Uder's gone, by the way, because I'm assuming... Hmm, there's a chance that he just has got old crab and is going to come back now. Okay, we got to focus kill on here. i got to back off now, actually. I'm far too overextended, I just realized. Leona's stun cooldown is pretty low. Ah, oh, fuck. Hopefully Lux gets the kill now. Her cooldown should be coming back up soon as well, right? What? Nah, that's crazy. Fuck. Okay, well, this is what happens when Killen actually has a chance to match our items. My bad. But yeah, no, I I had the right idea going on Caitlyn there. I just forgot that Leona's uh, Q cooldown is so low that she could just turn on me after, even though she'd committed all of her cooldowns onto Lux. Because you can see here, she goes on Lux, stuns her up. I take my chance to go on Caitlyn, then suddenly I realize, wait, fuck, I'm about to get stunned again. Yep, and that just fucks me. It's so much burst from the Leona auto Q auto, and then it's also a lot of burst from the Leona passive. Just wasn't good. Anyway, at least Caitlyn didn't get a good base here. We're going to be able to at least mildly freeze this. Nice. That would have worked probably if I had cleanse, I guess. Although I'm not sure, because it wouldn't have blocked the damage, though. <coughs> At least I would have lived if I had cleanse. Whether I could actually clash or kill Killen or not was more debatable. I don't want to follow that up since, Ash, since Lux isn't stepping up and Leona is stepping up, so I don't want to get comboed by Leona while Lux doesn't do anything with her own binding. Just gonna have to flash. Ooh. Okay. Damn, that's how we both flashed, though. Both flashed and didn't get a kill. Oh, for fuck's sake, now I'm so dead. At least Leona flashed when I was dead, no matter what. Please don't go to Caitlyn. Nice, okay. That sucks.
Not much to say about that. Did not account for Lux also flashing, because the flash for flash trade is fine, you know, th then we proceed to get ganked by Uter, which is, uh, you know, unlucky, a bit unrelated. But at least the flash for flash was fine, but then Lux get, got baited to also flash for Kaelin for that. Which was really not worth, because we don't want to use two flashes to force one flash, that's terrible. But I can't blame Lux for doing it. Because that would have been a kill if Lux didn't flash, or sorry, if Kaelin didn't flash. But at the same time, I would have also killed Killen by myself if Killen didn't flash, probably, so... I mean, I, I just can't blame Lux for it, because uh, I doubt she realized I could kill Killen by myself. It's just annoying. Because I did not want us to use two flashes there. Okay, we just slow push this wave, and then the next wave should give us level 6. We'll start poking them down. Nice. I am they are all. Okay, next wave gives us six. Guess we just go in before level six then. Okay, now I'm gonna hit it. Perfect. We get her. By the way, I should mention... Okay, nice. Uh, Leona W has the exact same fucking interaction as Amumui with Ash Q. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, Ash W has a flat damage reduction when she activates it. At least it's not permanent, right? Like the Amumui is. That's the worst part about Amumui is that it's fucking permanent. But Leona, when she activates W, gets a flat damage reduction. Which, again, just makes you deal less damage with Q than you would do without it. Which is stupid. So you mainly want to activate Q only when the W is down. Or what if you're focusing the ADC. Don't do it against Leona. I didn't check their comp by the way, but yeah, we are going short bow again. Yeah, uh, I was, by the way, I was actually fully overextended there, right? That's the thing. But, uh, because in theory, that's really bad for me if I get hooked by Leona there when I'm, like, in direct focus range of Caitlyn, and Lux can't directly focus Caitlyn herself, right? But I only did that because I knew I was one minion away from hitting six, and there was a minion that I could literally just hit at any moment, and it would die, and it would give me six. So it was actually just a really good bait. Because to them, it completely looked like me overextending. Me over chasing. But that's exactly what I wanted it to, to look like. Okay, we gotta watch out for the fact that Leona currently has six and I don't have cleanse. I could have got fucked there by the minion block. I'm just gonna go on Kaelin actually. Oh, for fuck's sake, could he's back. I'm dead. Ugh. Hide away as best as I can, but it, I, I can barely move. I need to be using my E more, man. I always do this on Ash. Like, I don't even know why I level my E. I literally hit Master on Ash in Season... What was it? Season 11 with a 70% win rate. And I barely ever use D on her. Still don't. Not by choice, I just don't think about it. People will call this like the most of one of the most overpowered abilities in the game because they want to sound smart. But at the same time, you can easily just get away without using it. I'm living proof of that. Like, sure, it's kind of fucking me this game, but it's fucking me no less than playing other champions and getting ganked, you know? And it's not like I'm at a, I'm at a disadvantage in PvP for not using it because uh, we just keep winning every fight, every game. Okay, Killen currently same level as me until I level up. I'm a bit over halfway to level 8. Once we get level 8, we'll have a big advantage in fights again. In the meantime, we don't want to force any fights that are too aggressive. Because we'd rather wait until we have an advantage before doing that. Like, obviously, I still have an item lead, I assume. 
Uh, it's not as big as it could be, actually. I'm only one kill and an assist up, but... Yeah, even if we have an item lead, we there's no harm in just waiting until we have the level lead as well. There we go, leveled up. Mm, shame that it goes to Lux again. We should be able to dive, Caitlyn. Either that or we do Drake. I guess Drake. <laughs> w connects. Oh. Dead. Cool. Yeah, by the way, we are running cleanse this game, so this is pretty much mandatory against Leona. Especially Leona combined with Caitlyn, we don't wanna... We don't want Leona's lockdown to lead to a free Caitlyn trap, which would be like fucking three seconds of CC. During which you get one shot at Caitlyn. It's just not viable, so we gotta run cleanse against Leona. Fuck, she has a ward there? Otherwise I would just walk around and cheese her. She's gonna see me doing it if I do it, though. Okay, I'll start shoving this next wave nice and early. Leon is on the way, but Udyr isn't, so we shouldn't have to be too afraid. And it's a fast crash. Okay, now I'm gonna have a massive item advantage. Wait, am I? Oh, she's actually not even that far away from her mythic either. But, well, I mean, I am st I'm still gonna have it though. <laughs> and a massive item advantage anyway though, because I have way more than just a mythic here. Uh, no, not that. This. You can do run on second as well, like, especially if you're doing the... Um, you know, two zeal items build, you can just do runes and Phantom Dancer and whatever order you prefer. I would say they're pretty similar in strength. I just like the extra damage from Phantom Dancer at the moment. Sometimes I just revert to Brunez though, because I decide I like Wave Clear too much. Okay, Killen has no E, but Leona can sort of base. A little bit risky, but I want to clear that. Can't auto her if she's in the brush. Then I was gonna try and help me there. She always should have just walked up to me and I would have been forced to back off. I was completely bluffing with my freeze there. They could just walk up and force me off of it because I can't risk getting in range of Leona. Not even her ultimate range. Fuck, I think I need the flash. Oh, good. Then has no W up, so we activate the Q. Oh, okay, nice. Oh, my CS! I just got two CS from that wave. Holy fuck, my my max Q is actually such a crazy damage increase for now. What attacks still like 40 extra 40 extra damage per auto. On top of the attack speed steroid. <clears throat> and that's not counting the interaction with crit. Um Yeah, we absolutely can just do the cutting build again here. It's gonna be really good against Udir. It's really good against champions that just run at you, which is exactly what Udir does. Just a shame that I'm not running Ghost this game. It would have been so good against Udyr. Which gives us all the more reason to want to run this build. Blink. 
Lena's probably roaming up. Which means, I was gonna say, which means I can kill Kaelin if I find her. There we go. We just cleanse the trap to make sure that she can't just kite us since her natural auto attack range is a bit higher than mine before Proc Lethal Tempo. And also ensures that we can keep on moving and dodge the Q because if I get hit by the Q I might actually just get burst down despite my lead. We'll just keep on pushing for now. I don't think we're going to get here in time for this fight. There's also... Yeah, this fight is pretty much already over anyway, so no point throwing ult now. Let's see if I can get this turret by any chance. It's looking maybe like a yes. Use another E. Oh, fucking Yasuo's here. I didn't notice. Oh, God. I'm so fucked. Dude, I I was so careful with my E, making sure that nobody was coming, and I still get flanked. God damn it. Wait, okay, but to be fair, I was thinking of people coming from base to flank. I was not expecting the Leona that was part of this fight, who I expected to have died, to just walk down and kill me. <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. Did I see her in vision? I'm sure I must have. How does she avoid all the wards? And also was just straight up looking at the map here instead of, uh, like, thing about the dumb thing about Yasuo walking up to me here, by the way, is that his icon on the map was literally obscured by Caitlyn. Because I was only looking at the map and not at the champions themselves here, I did not know Yasuo was there until it was too late. If I'd backed off as soon as I saw Yasuo, I wouldn't have been killable by Leona either. Really annoying. I wish that- oh, fuck, this could be bad. Nah, we're good. Fuck. But not a kill either. Yeah, I really wish there was a solution. Like, there should be a solution to fucking champions covering each other up on the map. It's so unfair. You can get cheese so hard by that. It happens to me as well with, uh, like, even my allies blocking up enemy champions on the map, right? Like, I'll, I'll see my ally on the map. And they're by themselves, and so I think nothing of it. But then it turns out they're actually in the middle of a fight with another, with another champion, and I could be helping them. But I don't know because the other champion isn't showing up on the map, you know? That just shouldn't happen. Okay, I'm on, I have really good positioning here. They can't really get onto me here. Until they get onto me. Oh. Uh, couldn't really fight Kill in there since she was higher HP than me. Oh, hello, Yasuo. Come on. Okay, he's dead. Leon is dead, and now we go to here too. Slowly but surely. Perfect. We could do Baron, right? We can do it, we can do it, we can do it. If Zed comes especially, but even without it, Without him, come on. Lots of shielding as well. That tier 2 turret is not even worth the risk of potentially not getting Baron though. Super good to go for. Okay, we should get it either way though, thank god. Nice one. I can't remember the last time I actually managed to coordinate the low elo baron call <laughs> in these videos. It is so rare. Um, I think I might go for Blood Thister again. But now I can just hold on to the coal. Because I could do with uh, having a choice, the, a good uh, chance of face tanking Caitlyn and Kale and surviving. For which I need to always be full HP. Like, if I happen to be half HP by the time either one of these decide to get on me, I'm gonna lose. Especially Kale. I might be in trouble here. We'll see. No, I didn't charge it up in time. Now he's dead, eventually. If I could have fucking vision. There we go. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even notice I got... 
Hit by that. Need to focus kill, actually. We got shield ball, so we're baiting a little bit. Perfect. Dude, either one who started this all. It's the one person on the team that lives. Well, actually, not the person. It was, that was Yasuo. But after that, Yasuo is kind of unrelated to the area, I feel like. Nice. I was going to have to cleanse if he didn't do that. Oh, man. <laughs> did, kill for, did kill him just kill for something to me? I swear she did. It's fine. I don't need to cleanse. Stay in melee range of Leona for funsies. Ah, she's dead again. That's her entire team ace. Wow, quadruple for my luck support. What the hell? I didn't even notice. Jesus. But we could get her the penta if we wait. Ah, but it's gonna be 15 seconds, so it's time for that. GG. Yo, what up, gamers? We are back for another game. Crash the diamond, the last one of the video. I want to go in on them here. Let's risk it. Ah, damn it, I was hoping to dash past that. Okay, we'll go on Pantheon, I guess. Or, okay, we hit the Zyra once. What a W. Didn't quite hit anybody. Okay, that was not worth the flash. Or, sorry, the ghost cooldown. It's a shame. If I actually managed to dodge that Ash Q, I would have. Or sorry, Lux Q, I would have forced a flash. Or killed her. Up to her, really. I wasn't too fussed. Anyway, I'm going to be playing Ash Zareth into Zaya Lux. A pretty decent duo since every time I land a W, that's going to be an easier skill shot for Zareth to land. Even just my auto attacks will also make it easier for Zareth to land the skill shots. So it's a pretty cool duo. I was actually also debating running cleanse this game because literally everybody on their team is something I can cleanse. Either a stun or a... S well, literally two roots and then three stuns. It's a lot of cleansable stuff. Nice one. We can just keep chasing her down here. Okay, we'll switch focus to Lux now because uh, we'll have to take too much mini negro to keep chasing down Zaya. That's really good, though. And see, that's part of what I mean as well by, like, less experienced dash players would just not realize how much damage they can deal in that situation. They would just stop chasing Zaya. Long before that. Just keep this wave from pushing as slowly as possible. Now we should look to crash. But really we just don't want to crash. We didn't want to crash that because we wanted to just let as many minutes die as possible while Zai just couldn't get in range. Nice. I could look to base now, but. Nah, yeah, they're even lower than I am. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit in the brush and just see if they'll overextend. If I don't see any sign of them, then I'm gonna assume they've based or they're basing. But no, they are gonna stay. So what the, what they should be doing in this situation is just start channeling recall and just waiting to see whether I actually start shoving the wave or not. If I don't start crashing the wave immediately, then it gives them a chance to just get a free base. And they can just cancel the recall if I do start shoving. Nice one. There should be at least one kill. We'll focus Zaya while Pantheon is untargetable. Can't out of there, my bad. Okay, nice one. 
Okay. Um, we kind of have to shove this, I think. Or do we? I can't even tell if, because it's so much easier to gauge whether the wave is going to push towards you or the enemies when the minions are actually like lined up with each other. There's some some of my melees down here in my wave. Some of their melees, some of their melees all up in my wave. It's really fucking hard to count them. <laughs> anyway, should be able to shove this wave as well. Perfect. Now, so long as they don't freeze, then the wave state is perfect. And if they do freeze, at least it'll cost them a lot of HP since it's a pretty big wave. Nice one. Yeah, it's going to be another anti-tank build game. As usual. And I'll pick up a dagger instead of refillable. Already got some sustain through the vamp scepter anyway. But we're facing two different champions who have... It's somewhat, you know, decent amount of poke. Definitely the Luxie at least, and the Xi also has QE and her feathers in general. So I think Vaps up there will be better here than... Um... Noom Curve, especially because we're not playing like an all-in focused lane. Xerath is also a lot more focused on poke, so we're going to be playing it like really slow and controlled. Not such an explosive lane, so with Vamp Scepter we'll be able to keep up our HP over time. And sure, we're just always coming out on top of trades in the long run. Okay, actually... Zaya, for all I know, could be basing, so I want to try and join up this wave with the next one. I guess it is actually so bad because now the melees are going to go all the way up into the turret here. If, the, if Zerath had just either followed me or just not aggroed the wave in the first place, I would have been able to set up a really nice freeze. The annoying thing is that if they're basing now, they're going to get away with it when it should have been a really stupid base. But now I, I both can't freeze it and I also can't crash it. Yeah, whether they're basing or not, either way, they're just not getting this farm, and I just can't punish it. It's really annoying. <clears throat> not this one. Ooh. Nice one. So now she wants to base again, and this time, I actually do have a chance at actually crashing this wave in time, so... Like again, if I was the Zaya, I would already start channeling my recall, and then since she sees me crashing, she decides whether it's safe enough to actually stay... ...and cancel her recall, or whether she actually wants to... Um, ...recall because she decides it's not safe to stay. Uh, we can just go Luxor. Nice one. But uh, she has to at least start channeling her recall because because if I decide to start freezing instead of shoving, then that does give her a chance to just get a free recall. That's why I'm constantly shoving is because I don't want to give her that free recall. If she's gonna stay, if I know for a fact she's gonna stay, then I deny more farm and XP by freezing. But I don't know for a fact that she's gonna stay, do I? Because I'm not psychic. So instead, we just keep perma pushing. Can shove this wave as well. Oh. Do I ghost here? No, I seem to be fine. Weird. Old gank from Pantheon. Super close to Shilbo, but it's not worth waiting for. I'm, I'm literally about to get boots, so we don't want to fill up our inventory. Nice. Yeah, unfortunately, Zaya and Lux uh, actually have a lot of wave clear. Especially Zaya. Zaya's got like the best wave clear of any ADC this early on. Except for maybe Zeri. Since her rework. 
So we do end up missing some farm with the turret there just by pissing on a cannon with. I'm just gonna ignore the minions and just go directly on Zaya here. Oh, how did I miss that? My bad. I might be in trouble now. Okay, thank god. Holy shit. I don't know how I missed that. Ah, I just accidentally leveled my W. My bad. Been really loving the three points in W into Q Max. I think I'll still do it. I'll just keep on maxing Q from now on, but it's gonna be maxed at level twelve instead of ten, which is quite a quite a bit of a delay. We'll go for the dagger for Foster Berserkers in case we end up not being able to base on 800 gold. I suppose it's too late to see that ult miss. Yeah. I flushed him as well, didn't she? So this is what we wanted to do earlier, not drag the wave out all the way over here so that our minions end up here and their minions run straight under through it. Oh yeah, the Zeratzel also sets up a free Ash ult as well. Oh. Works both ways. Virtually Lux flashes it. So we just end up getting some Pokemon's Eye instead. Okay, she slowed. I need to back off. Getting ganked back on now. Wow, that was a really good Zerathi. What? I wonder if he's scripting, because I would not have been look- Oh, I need to run actually, I think. Uh, I got shield though. If I was there, uh, like, I would not have been fucking looking to Echo there. That was so unexpected. He's like, focused on the enemy bot lane, but he randomly hits the perfect D on Echo, who's coming from the side. Like, what? Hard to say it's scripting for sure, unless I saw his POV, but... That looks sus. Most people do not have that level of awareness, especially in silver. We'll just show another wave here. Where are they not under Drake? I thought they were. Alright, I'm basing. Hmm, or not. They're still abusable. I thought they would have based. So what we do here is we wait and see if they're actually gonna recall or not. If they don't show up, then we just start shoving. They do. We turn cheese, but we got cut out. So we just shove. I think Zaya's based since she hasn't shown herself. I don't need to get another plating though, I can just recall. What would be a genius uh, cheese, by the way, is if I actually just tried to cheese again. Because they absolutely would not expect me to stay again. But it uh, would only really work with the coordination of Xerath. I would want Xerath to sit in the same brush with me, cheesing with me. Not just sitting off in the side where they might have a ward or where they know he is. Okay, nice. He's gonna hit the minions? Oh no, he didn't. Nice. Is he gonna get the caster? No, he didn't. Nice. What is Velen Sol doing? What? 
Oh, Zack is here as well, at least. Okay. My farm. Nice one. Oh. Hmm. I don't think he'll be able to finish off the Zack. Uh, will he? Oh, he won't. Well, okay, he did. Ah, and he gets away as well. I want to keep my little tempo up. Oh. Without getting to our girl, that's why we use Ghost there. Because if I don't use Ghost, I can't auto attack him because I'll be stunned under turret. But if I use Ghost, I get out of his stun range first, and then I hit him, refresh the lethal tempo, and then I can keep using that to dive. Ow. Fucking hell, I actually live here, I think, unless I die to a Luxult. Okay, here seems like a good place to recall. Unlikely to get Lux ulted here. I guess it must be on cooldown, but you never know when it comes up, it's got a short ass cooldown. Oh my god, one CS away from cashing out coal. Sucks. Oh, I actually could have just. If I got the cash out, then I could have sold coal for my Phantom Dancer, so it's actually really annoying this time. Usually the cash out is not too important because it literally, you know, it's only gonna get you like an extra longsword or a dagger or something, but this time it actually would have been a. Well, uh, side him. Nice. Mm, I don't have shield bow up. Okay, but now I can cut her, though. Perfect. Gotta leave. Nope. Can't tank that. Now I gotta wait for these feathers to disappear, because you never know what kind of unexpected angle I might get hit by. Okay, now we can walk up and try and lifesteal back up. Cool. I know Pantheon has no flash. Alright, I can base now. Relent Soul should probably go both, see if he goes there. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do this game? I think uh, Runan's third will be fine. Okay, he's not going bot, so I'll go bot myself then. I can try and catch out Zaya with uh, an ult here, but she probably has a least skill force or ult one or the other. Oh. Okay, see what we can do here. I actually probably catch her through anything at this point, actually. Yeah. Doesn't even have anything up, but... Alright, one more level up, then we've actually got the key maxed. Fucking hell, he got all of those. Try and take the enemy blue. Getting punked by Pantheon. Got it. Nice. What? Oh, damn. Oh, I tried to channel ult that Pantheon, but. He died, so it didn't go through. Or rather, uh, I had it on cooldown, so it didn't go through. Awesome. Didn't I just see Zaya here? 
Yeah, there she is. <laughs> she won't escape. Nice. My farm. He's gonna get. Oh, he's gonna get all of them. <laughs> Definitely cost her. Nearly got Renance. This terror will get me it. But then I also want to steal their camps as well. Because why not? It's good to deny them from the enemies. It's more important than going for a wave. Such as the next wave that I could probably get away with farming. We wouldn't bother going for wolves though, because we have to be pretty deep to get those. Might not be safe. Would only be safe, like fully safe. If they were still under death timers. Oh, what the fuck? There we go. Honestly, I think I'm just favoring the Infinity Edge for a Thidon. Like, uh, every game that you don't need, um... Infinity Edge 3rd, you probably also didn't need a 4th over Bloodthirster. Bloodthirster is just so good, man. Only reason not to go Bloodthirster is if, um... You eventually need Lord Dominic's, in which case you'll want to do Infinity Edge. And Lord Dom's. Okay, from this angle we can actually farm the wolves. Because we can escape to the left. We have control over this area, unlike before. He actually probably wants to recall there, given his HP. Ooh, I should have vaulted her and then Zerth could have finished her off with his ult. That's another nice combo. Oh, are you kidding me? I just thundered it. Oh god, that's so annoying. I did not expect that. I was like one other away from killing Lux and then flashing away. Fuck. Does she die? Ooh. She does not. I wasted my flash. I, the moment I got stunned by Pantheon W under turret, I should have just accepted my death. So close to flashing it before I got in, before, like, um, without being stuck under turret, you know? Before I actually got stunned. Ah, that's my only death of the game as well, at least so far. Oh well. We can get red buff and raptors, and then we'll go group wherever. <sighs> Feeling is gonna recall here, but. Dude. Yeah, fuck. She's dead. Oh, nice! Q, what the hell? Completely different direction from her E. Can maybe get Renekton? Where is he? Where the fuck is he? He's gonna be in this brush, right? What the hell? Where did he go? There he is, found him. I'm not afraid of Echo. <laughs> I 
Bear in mind, I would have been stunned by Renekton there if I did Infinity Edge. Probably wouldn't have died because I'm so ahead, but... If I wasn't so ahead, that just goes to show the value of the Rune Ends instead of Infinity Edge. Worth a shot. <laughs> GG. And that's gonna be the end of the video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this for the future guys, both for Ash and for other DCs. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later gamers.